<laughs> oh my god i i trust you guys for some reason still oh Aww. you shouldn't oh, okay you shouldn't i trust you guys every day i don't trust you <clears throat> is that like um a thing you chose or something someone's making you not trust me i was paid and i can't say who because of an nda i signed Ooh, billy eilish has a song called nda do you like billy eilish i i'm just i'm just throwing topics out there. <laughs> Just throwing topics. You know what you're like right now? Do you know? Do you remember in the back of Ubers, they like have those screens that are like trivia? Um, in Ubers? In Ubers, they have these. Ubers are Snapple caps now? <laughs> they have I can the drink easily... Ubers? Yeah, you can drink an Uber. Whoa. It's all kinds of flavors. Yeah. It's I believe... not just food now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have these screens, these touch screens that are like, you like press them for trivia and the trivia will be like, what animal has eight legs? A, a cat. B, an octopus. I'm waiting. C, a dog. <laughs> D, a human. Wait, I need to think about this. Yeah. Um, uh, what? You said legs. Do tentacles count as legs? Yeah. Do uh, imaginary legs count as legs? Yes. You see, I was a theater major. The legs are the two curtains that sit on the side of the proscenium, so that's what I was Yeah, the answer for. was E, a proscenium theater. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, you're too but That's why you sound like throwing out the topics. One of those Uber trivias. Oh, yeah. okay, cool. I like being compared to robots. They are the future. <laughs> <laughs> they are the future, and we have to be nice to them now so that they give us candy later. You know, I Ooh. actually agree with you. In Thank earnest, you. I think their robots are amazing. Dude. Yeah, the first robot was the uh, gumball machine. Is that not true? Yeah, that's not not true, Lucas. Yeah, yes. is that not 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 <laughs> not, not true? Not tr I guess that it's true. <laughs> no, we. I think we could find out that gumball machines were sentient. We oh, could. I want to find out. Let's have one on the podcast. Just be like, <laughs> <laughs> I was born in 1910. Life is misery. <laughs> I would be honored to be uh, on this podcast, uh, and then later you have a, a gumball machine and be like, yeah, I was on that podcast that had the gumball machine on their podcast. I was there before they had gumball machines. <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. there, and I was there on the ground floor. I, uh, I was there just spitting gumballs out. I was the human one. I was, yeah. <laughs> I was and the And now prototype. you're going to get canceled for it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I get canceled every day. Yeah. <laughs> every day. What's the last thing you got canceled for? I got for? canceled for the way I look. Like, what? Yeah. No. Yeah. What? They're like, do you know what? I'm sorry for doing that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That one I actually apologize for. That was a little out of pocket of me. Yeah. Um. Also, what's in your pocket? Um. A good time. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Can I tell? Can, can I tell you actually a story of a time I almost got mugged? Um, I thought you were going to say I almost got canceled. I was like, not you two. No. <laughs> just me. Just, it can only be me. Just me and only for how she looks. <laughs> <laughs> not for the content of her character. No, yeah. no. I dream of a day where we all get canceled, not for the yeah. content of her character, <laughs> but for the color of our skin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so perfect. Okay, no, but for real, I was walking home from middle school. Oh, yesterday? Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Just a little baby. You tiny. I'm just a oh. little piss baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't really talk like that to fit in with us. <laughs> you do with me. I'm trying. It's because I do impressions. I just can't help but do you guys. Whoa. That's just what you guys sound like. Are we like. just going to take that? We, we're not going to take that. We're just not going to take that Lucas, right now. Lucas, you cannot talk to us this way. We are big, strong muscle babies. We, we <laughs> I love that it's trying to sound badass while doing these voices. This is kind of adjacent to my fake Stephanie Meyer voice. Oh, yeah? Where You know, <laughs> you know the one where... The, <laughs> they fuck so hard, they break the whole house. <laughs> I, <laughs> I don't know if you ever heard me do, we'll like, my, do very my dumbest joke. Okay. It's a, where I do an impression of... A, do you know the plot point in Twilight where when vampires have sex they do it so hard they break entire houses uh i no this is a movie for kids uh the the it's a family film the okay. movie is adapted the book is for kids and okay. for some reason there's a plot point where vampires are like really it was strong. a sequel to the very hungry caterpillar <laughs> <laughs> harold the purple dick <laughs> <laughs> oh and then it turned into a beautiful other insect 
with wings. <laughs> this is true, though. There's a plot point in Twilight where, like, the they're the the matriarch of the family. This is even part of my joke. This is just backstory. Uh, the okay. matriarch of the vampire family, like, tells the new vampire girl Bella, she's like. You know, just be careful because when Emmett and Rosalie became vampires, they like broke a couple of houses. Oh my God. This is 100% true. So on stage, I do this impression. I'm like, here's my impression. Honey, I broke my house. <laughs> <laughs> That's my impression. Yeah. I'm like, Sorry. Here's, here's Stephanie Meyer writing the plot point in Twilight where vampires have sex. They break, do it so hard, they break houses. And then it's just. G for short, they break the whole house. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Okay, no, but so I was okay, walking okay. home from uh, middle school, and there were these three dudes who, like, saw me as I was walking up the street, and they saw um, uh, it was my wallet in my pocket, and they were, and they were like, hey, is that a sidekick? What is that in your pocket? And... <laughs> And uh, and I said it's none of your business is what it is. Those are, are my you, exact words. Are you words. old enough to remember the sidekick? Yeah, it's the flippy. The it's a yeah. 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 Did yeah, you yeah. ever have one? No, but a friend did, and I touched it all over. Oh, oh I yeah. touched the phone. Say all it again, over. but slower, because I'm. I, I touched the phone all over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't take direction well. No, I thought that was beautiful. I was I was there. I felt like I, I was having a sense memory exercise in a Meisner class. That was Whoa. beautiful. What but, a sentence. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Say it again one more time. No. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> he no. takes direction really bad. <laughs> I I very that badly, much. no. He's, I did not pass the, the class. the ultimate no and. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm the ultimate no but. No That's but. me, yeah. yeah. No but, um, but I got mugged. Uh, yeah. So what happened to you? Oh, yeah, no. So, so did I, you die? I, uh, did I did. you die? And then I got reincarnated into this. Um, no, but no, but I was trying to walk home from middle school. They were like, is that a sidekick on your pocket in your pocket? And I was like, it's none of your business. And I tried to walk away. And then this dude grabbed me by the handle on my backpack, swung <laughs> me around and threw me on the floor on oh the, on the ground. God. And then they just ran away. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just like picked myself up, dusted myself off. I went home and it was my first day of middle school that I was walking home from. And my mom asked me, oh, how was your first day? I was like, great, got mugged. <laughs> oh, my God. Maybe they were just trying to do the dirty dancing dance, and they were really bad at it. <laughs> they were like, we need to watch Patrick Swayze again. We're no good. <laughs> I was going to say, maybe it's like in Matilda when the trunch bull throws the kid out the window. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh with the with the pigtails? And yeah, then she yeah, flies yeah. She, around. Yeah, she flies around. She goes out the window. What did she think happened? That character. Yeah, she. Probably well, she was just like, I can fly now. <laughs> Do you think she like jumped off a roof? Like, I'm a superhero, and then she dies. I think I'm sure they all have PTSD from being at that school. Probably. Yeah. I've never. I've only watched um, Babe in the Pig City. <laughs> Babe in the Pig. Babe City. in the Pig City. <laughs> yeah. That has to be what it's called. <laughs> That's wait. You talking Babe about was... Charlotte's Web? <laughs> <laughs> If Babe was in a pig city, it would just be a normal day. It was just like, oh, yeah, I, I, I'm i surrounded by other pigs. Yeah. This is fucking normal. It's a very boring movie. <laughs> yeah. But it's real. It's just Animal Farm. It's just Animal <laughs> Farm. But th they're a little less chatty. That's yeah, the what animals I... in Animal Farm don't shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they're a little that, mouthy, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. They're yeah. going against the system and shit. Do you know who also is mouthy? This podcast! And our guest today... <laughs> is the mouthiest of them all. First off, welcome to Two Nosy Meerkats. Welcome. Welcome one, welcome all. Uh, we have a very special guest, a wonderful comedian, your friend and mine. You know her, you love her. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And yeah. their name is and Mia Faith Hammond! I'm Mia and I'm here with my two meerkats. Is it meerkats? Yes. Yeah. And the nosy as hell and they've got pants. But everyone's got pants in the room. Do you have pants on? No. No, it's a jumpsuit. Suit. I fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> Record scratch freeze frame. How did I get here? <laughs> that was awesome. Wow. Yeah, was that rehearsed? That um yeah, that's on my album. It's called What's it uh, called? It's called Please Help Me. <laughs> Please help me. How does it feel to be nominated for a Grammy for that album? Um it feels wrong because it's bad. Yeah. And I'm bad <laughs> at what I do. But hey, I'm I thank uh thank you, God. You yeah, know for sure. Aww. I thank God sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. W yeah. W not all the time though, because we know he doesn't do everything. Well no, I mean he does my taxes. <laughs> But you do the work. 
Uh, no, he doesn't. You make the money. (laughs) You make the money. I, I, I do make, I make money. Guess how I make money. Music. No. Only fans, but you're on the boom. (laughs) 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 I get a cut. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. You just have the strongest arms from holding that thing like that. (laughs) Uh, yeah, my arms are very strong. Thank you for noticing. What what, what can you lift? I feel like you, you're. Mm, yeah, I can lift up my other arm, which is very heavy because it's yeah. so strong. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, what's your stronger arm? Your left or your right or your center? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think it's the arm in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. My back arm. That's interesting. That's not usually the strongest. That's the one arm. I didn't. I didn't feel comfortable asking about. But can we talk about it now? Yeah. Can we get into my body? Let's talk yeah. about yeah. women's bodies yeah. right now. Turn yeah. around. Let's see the arm. Let's do inside the, the actor <laughs> yeah. studio. Where were you born? It's, <laughs> it's hard to. It's hard to like turn around because of yeah. uh, my condition, mm-hmm. where I have to just like face uh, my friends. I have yeah. to face them. Oh, it's called resting to... podcast posture. It, yes. Yeah. But I don't think it's actually, it's not something you have to do. It's something you're contractually obliged to do. That's, That's the true. problem. I did sign, I sa- you made me sign so many papers on board to this podcast. Look, and shit's happened. We got to be safe. Yeah. You know? I understand. But I'm allergic These to are- paper and you knew that. So... <laughs> this yeah, is that's why we made you sign that paper where you wouldn't say you were allergic yeah. to paper. Because oh, we shit. hate you. Yeah, so you did break the <laughs> Getting law. Getting so sued. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna, <laughs> after this, we're going to cut the cameras damn. and then we're going to be like, all right, so uh, <laughs> we are taking you to court. Oh, mm-hmm. my God. I got to call legal. I, yeah. I saw a show recently where they said, get legal on the phone. I was like, I got to start saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start saying that right now. It was the wait, Elizabeth which... Holmes. Uh, oh, oh my yes. Dropout. Yeah. Yes. Wait, I love the dropout. I haven't started it yet. It's great. I, it I don't want to. Have you watched the whole thing? Uh, yeah, we just finished it. Did you? Yeah, 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 I did. Okay. Uh, spoiler alert. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. Very compelling. I think it's the best of the... I didn't watch the WeWork thing. I heard it's terrible. I watched Inventing Anna. It's yes, okay. It's fine, yeah. I think the dropout is the best one. It was it was very compelling and I love I love when Hollywood it's like, oh, "Okay, let's take this story where everyone's just sort of plain looking and put them with the, the oh now everyone's hot oh my god i know i love it when people are hot yeah that's like i do too something i'm attracted to you know no that's why sure. we have this podcast to give the world hot people yes <laughs> their voices which is what's important about hot people <laughs> yeah listen i don't see you for your face i'm here for your vocal folds alone whoa i can get oh, yeah. fry you want me to uh, vocal fry to you right now fry I would love it. fry it up <clears throat> Was that it? That was it. Yeah, okay. that was a really oh, yeah. good fry. Okay, cool. Yeah, you know how those Valley girls—they're always like, <laughs> yeah, they're just all beatboxers. <laughs> beep, boop, beep, beep, boop, beep, boop. Stand clear of the closing doors, <laughs> please. Oh, hot girls are always saying that. They're always like, we are delayed yeah. due to the train's dispatcher. <laughs> please be patient. They're always, they're always me- saying someone jumped on the tracks. <laughs> oh, oh, it's awful. God. I just want. I just drag. don't need to know what transfers are available already. I don't need to know that. I'm not like other girls. I'll never tell you what transfers are available. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. You're ideal. <laughs> Thanks, you- dude. Yeah. I just I see the way that you walk and talk and I go, that's it. That's the yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, Because it's not typical, you know, but it's but it's pretty hot. Yeah. Yeah. Can I ask, what were uh, some shows besides the dropout? What were some shows that you grew up on? Did you have any like shows that was like your show? Um, so as a as a kid, like before ten years old, mm-hmm. I was watching them kid shows, baby. That's yeah. the SpongeBob, the, Love the fairly Sponge odd parents, the fairly odd parents, yeah. The uh, probably probably some like Hannah Montana bullshit. Oh yeah, um, don't call it bullshit. Oh crap! Yeah. She's she's our first sponsor of the podcast. Oh shit! Whoa. We don't have better help. Not ha- we, don't have, <laughs> we don't have we don't have like me undies. Better help. No, we have Hannah Montana. <laughs> It'd be so funny if one day we retroactively like got a sponsor and had to edit them into all the episodes. <laughs> you were like, we don't have me undies, and then two yeah. seconds later, it was like, you know what we have now? Me undies. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do you have problem getting to sleep? Here's CBD. Just like, <laughs> right after we talk about Hannah Montana. No, but go on. So, uh, um, early out parents, SpongeBob. What was what else? Parents, and then once I turned like 
10 mm. uh i i watched my first sort of adult show and that oh, was yeah. monk you guys watch monk oh that I was never, I never such a good yet. show oh my god it was so good so good i mean i did watch it over the pandemic for the first time in a decade and it's like oh this is fine this is this is good television right. mm -hmm. um uh, Wait, did you like it more as a kid than you did when you saw it again more recently yeah because as a kid I I didn't I didn't know how um, f f funny other shows could be. Oh yeah, <laughs> sure. yeah. and good. Um, no, it's it it still holds up and it's very endearing. Mm. It is funny how you know it's about OCD, but mm. they 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 go to the extremes with it, and mm -hmm. it's um, I like it. I like it when shows get mental illness a little incorrect. That's yeah. my favorite. Me too. Yeah, don't we all? Have you ever seen Crazy Ex-Girlfriend? Yeah, I've never they seen sing that one. songs. It's yeah, they sing the songs, mm. which is like so not how mental illness Hold on, what's works. a song? They don't sing songs. Uh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hold on, one sec, one sec, one sec. What's a song? <clears throat> okay. Because I know you've said you've done music. Yeah. But Do you know, know, so you know what music is. I've I've heard that word. A song is like music if it was a girl. Oh. Yeah. You know, it's actually true. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> what's like, music if it was a boy? Jackass? Uh, danger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can I say something I like a lot about you is like if you analyze the sentences that you're saying, mm -hmm. like all the words individually sound ridiculous, and then you put them together, you're like, that's really fucking profound. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. That would be a great uh that would be a great review for your autobiography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be a really <laughs> good all these words by themselves suck. <laughs> but together, somehow they work. <laughs> That's great. I've never no one's ever, ever, and I'm saying ever called me profound before. It's usually like what why why? It's usually the question, why are you saying Well this? can I say you are actually very profound uh, for me back in October because you saw me in a show at Caroline's and then afterwards you were very nice. You were like, Oh, good show and I was like, I had a panic attack on stage. And you were very you were genuinely like really helpful to me and <laughs> sort of like just calming me down and sort of giving me a little wider scope of like stand up in general and how to like process like anxiety oh. and stuff it was you were very sweet to me i'm so glad that's a good memory you have because i'm about to make so many bad memories for you <laughs> yeah. so, so. um i no truly i remember that show and you you truly killed like yeah uh, do you do you have the tape like you did very well i can't watch that tape it's t it genuinely it's like clawing myself <sighs> so i cannot watch that yeah because i was like sweating bullets on stage and i I felt like my, because I genuinely thought, oh, I might faint on stage. I really oh thought, gosh. oh, you know, because I felt like, I felt like I was shrinking inside my own body. Yeah. Like my hearing was getting fuzzy, my vision was getting tunnelly. I legit wow. thought that I was gonna pass out, Dude, and then I just like, I just powered through it. Y you could not tell. I swear to God. Like I, I would have let you know after the show, like, hey, were you okay up there yeah, or something? <laughs> but truly. Uh, it, it didn't show at all. You were it, you were rehearsed. You were I'm there. You were present. No, it seemed present. Everyone said that, but I just I to this I was just I felt so it was so grueling to get. And yeah. afterwards, like my ears were just popping so much. I yeah, don't know yeah, why yeah. that happens when you nearly faint, but my ears were just popping like crazy. I was very dehydrated as well afterwards. Is that was it because it was like oh this is Caroline's and it's like no it's I've a performed at Caroline's before. This is I I'm so ashamed of when I say this, but I was told there was industry in the crowd oh, okay <laughs> and so i that. built i built it up i built it up so much in my mind because yeah. i was like probably one of like the biggest shows i had done in a while sure sure so i had like i i built it up way too much in my mind and i was i i got i put so much importance into it and it was it was the wrong i can't control that that's just yeah. where my subconscious went but i it, yeah that's what happened basically. yeah you you're never uh I, I believe you're never to suppress those feelings or emotions because it's like you're always gonna be nervous or you're always yeah. gonna like feel bad about yourself so it's about like mm. oh uh, this is just what it is this is reality is yeah. i'm gonna live next to this and then fucking go on stage but exactly yeah, yeah. industry sh yeah shows where there's industry and mm. I, so oh me. there wasn't also any industry in the crowd no. there was none there no. never is there no. never is there never is the industry isn't real no, no. we're the industry you know real. you know there was the coal industry in the audience though <laughs> Whoa. so if you were looking to get into mining you if you're up. looking if you were like, i'm i'm trying to appeal to big carbon yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, or or like Santa Claus, because mm. he, uh, he he he's got a stash of coal. He's got a stash of coal. Yeah, where does he get all that? For his favorite little, for his favorite little friends out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He loves the naughty ones the oh, most, yeah. don't we all? I, it's kind of fucked up. He makes a list of nice and naughty children. Yeah. It's um, a, but the only good thing about it is that he's then, he then jerks off to that list. Yeah. <laughs> that's so good. That is great a, for him. <laughs> good. Yeah, yeah, no. He needs relief because that's a, that's got to be a stressful job to be yeah. Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be hard to be Santa Claus. If I was Claus. Santa Claus, I'd be jerking off every night. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's like, got nothing to do the rest of the year. He's just like, all right, day 200. Uh. <laughs> no, he's the boss. He's the boss of little guys. Of little, <laughs> little guys. Uh, what, what are they called now? <laughs> Elves. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't guy think guy they guy. want to be called elves. No, I don't think that's a word we can use. That's, <laughs> that's their guy. that's their word for sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, tiny the workers. E-word. Yeah. Tiny workers. Yes. Mm. Mm. I love. How about just blue collared fellas? How about we call them that? <laughs> <laughs> and and no and there's no women. The polar proletariat. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh. Um, but that implies that they're gonna go on strike against Santa, which I don't know if that's true. Hey, that'd be bad for me. Hey, listen, I support yeah. I support workers across the world. That's what I do. Do you get Do you get presents from Santa? Yeah, he really likes me for some reason. It's that's like, awesome. Calm oh down. Um, <laughs> Has he DM'd you? Has he slid he in? Sl- he, sl- he slid. He slid. In. <laughs> slid. <laughs> Oh my he sled in that was really DMs. good. That was really good. That oh was great. Oh my gosh. That was actually the best thing I ever heard in my whole life. That is <laughs> that was that. kismet right there. That that yeah. wordplay. See, I'm like the the inverse of you where my individual words are profound, but when you put them together, you're like, what the fuck is she saying? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, we should um th- th- we 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 should have a show together then. <laughs> um, oh, we should collaborate sometime. Um, uh. But but then no, but th- then you see, if it was just you guys, then it would cancel out, and then and then there would be a net there would be a net zero of oh. profundity. 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 Mm. Yes. Oh no, profanity. Mm. <laughs> uh, That's uh, the perfumity. Perfumity. I'm having a whiff right now, and it's beautiful. Be- be- isn't things that are beautiful the best? Uh, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe in the comments <laughs> if you think being beautiful is okay. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. Oh, <laughs> smash that like button. <laughs> smash it. How are, how, what is the difference between clicking and smashing? I don't click my boyfriend. Consent. <laughs> <laughs> um, I only click my girlfriend because smashing her would be really inappropriate. It'd be I inappropriate. Think. It's inappropriate. You gotta be nice to the clitoris. That's what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I <laughs> click it. Don't smash. That's the one exception. I smash her clitoris. <laughs> oh my god. Just to take a hammer. <laughs> Once you find it, you have to let her know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get your tool I'm belt. Smashing, taking a hammer to a clitoris. Oh my god! Like one of those cartoon style mallets. Oh my god! Like Bam Bam and the Flintstones, just boom. <laughs> well, you gotta find it somehow. Well, that's the thing is oh. like, if if you have a big enough hammer, you're gonna hit it. Like, yeah. if you you're just, gonna hit some clitoris it, at some point. Yeah. At some point, a clitoris will just be in the line of fire. Exactly. Where where was where was yours last time you checked? It was I I accidentally scratched it. Where was it? It was. <laughs> I think it's wherever my oh yeah 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 oh. it's on the bottom of my foot and yeah. it, hurt, oh. it hurts to walk. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it hurts. Why I'm a dog walker, so it's like every day, every day is a, a living hell, and I don't appreciate my life ever. Are you on the apps, Rover? <laughs> the, the wag. <laughs> yeah, I swipe. I swipe right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you actually a dog walker? I am a dog walker. Yeah. How is it? Oh, it's beautiful. Um, the dogs, they say, thank you so much. They're Aww. very appreciative. They say, I love you. Aww. Yeah. Aww. And um, they make me pick up their shit every day. Oh, well, good. Do they do they watch you while you do it? Like, yeah, pick that shit up. Just yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> dogs, are, dogs are little freaks, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're yeah, little, yeah. Little do you have a favorite babies. kind of dog? I Well, I... I have ones that I that I'm drawn to because of the the ones I grew up with. Isn't mm. it interesting how when you have things in your formative years, they last with you until adulthood, and then <laughs> yeah, that's just crazy. Dude. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> <Dude>. quirky. That's <laughs> crazy. I'm not like other girls. Uh, my life affected me. <laughs> 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 um, 
No, but most th- girls' life yeah. just passes them by. <laughs> I <laughs> hold on to memories. <laughs> no, but actually, what is it? Do you have a favorite dog breed? Though? So I have, I have like three go tos, and these are the three that I grew up with: greyhounds, big ones, mm. big old greyhounds, big chunky, thick ass greyhounds. I prefer mm. the bus. You oh, like yeah. the bus? The Greyhound bus. <laughs> oh, gotcha, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Oh. A, bu- a big Great. chunky one? Big, yeah, thick big ass. chunky bus. Yeah. I thought you were going to say dog bussy. <laughs> <laughs> Prefer dogs with a big bussy. <laughs> so the Greyhounds? The Greyhounds? Like, I like yeah. a little tiny shih tzu, or as oh, yeah. I like to call it, shitting sue. <laughs> um, and then a po- Don't bring sue into this. Da- sh- sue has done me wrong, and I'm here to call her out. Sue, you be shitting. She's going to be sending us an NDA very soon. Dude, I, soon. I, it better be electronic because paper makes me sneeze, yeah. okay? No, don't worry. You can do an e-signature. We, we're very progressive. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are young and hip. and We're down with the kids. 19? Yes. Cool. 19 if you combine our ages. Well, not- <laughs> Whoa. I'm 18 and Lucas is one. Is one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's true. It's the exact midpoint. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's just- Nine. That's where um, we combine. I, I'm yeah. grooming him to be yeah. a great comedian, not <laughs> sexually. But we're not um, grooming dogs. That's no, what, uh, no, no, no. We would never. Yeah. And, and then we bring it back to the dog. I like that's a called a callback in the biz. Callback, baby. How long have you been walking dogs? I uh, it's been about t- uh, ten months now. Ten months. But I'm about to quit in two weeks. Whoa. Yes. What? What's the? What's the cause of this? Um, this the dogs career. are sexually harassing me. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. They said I looked so pretty. That's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. But um, it's just one of those systemic kind of things. It's it's yeah. syst- syst- systemic and it's syst- systematic as Syst- well. <laughs> um, it's all of the above. Yeah. It's and also it's hydromatic. Ooh. Automatic. <laughs> Why well, it could be grease lightning. <laughs> Lucas just died. <laughs> he like choked Dude. to death and we just keep going. Don't While even joke about that. doing my rendition of Grease, the musical. Yeah. I don't want to joke about death anymore. Can we oh, move on? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Well, well I on. do. So this is where we're at an impasse. Oh my god. What if I? What if I pulled a? Uh, ha- did you? Did you listen to the episode of Mark Marin's uh, podcast? Don't mean to bring up another podcast on the show. We don't hey. recognize other podcasts. He. he um, it's okay. He had Gallagher on, mm-hmm. and he made Gallagher mad because Gallagher is a fucking asshole. Can oh. I, am I allowed to say Gallagher on the podcast? You're allowed to say anything you okay. want. Okay. Well, Gallagher stormed out at minute 30, and uh, that was the whole <laughs> podcast. Seriously? Yeah. Oh, Mark my Maron, God. Uh, Mar- Mar- he does some crazy shit. Well, he just called him out like truly gallagher do? I is sort, he's like kind of conservative and maybe oh, even okay. alt right or he's kind of weird now and okay, okay. he thinks he knows everything about comedy he's just total narcissist yeah and uh there's a brilliant moment where gallagher's walking out and he's like fuck this i'm out of here and mark Marin goes oh come on gallagher and it's my <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite line i've ever heard oh come on gallagher is it one of those things you like quote around your house now <laughs> yeah. i want that on a t-shirt and like big bubble letters i want that so uh, bad it was so genuine too he wasn't like it was like i can imagine mark saying that as well yeah <laughs> oh, come on gallagher <laughs> it's, and i just want him to look yeah. in the camera just like hmm just yeah. like <laughs> i wish we would look into the camera more welcome hi that was pretty good that was beautiful oh my smile i was i felt like i was in the moment <laughs> you ever hear the the, the that looks, a, looks like a, that looks like a doll smile just like yeah yeah i don't know how to smile i don't know what my face looks like am i it's white you, it's you <laughs> you are you if you consider yeah. jews white yes oh yeah. dude every day i do are you jewish <laughs> I'm half Jewish. Ah, oh, like me. Just just like you. Yes. I'm not the other thing you are, though. We- Rich? Rich. <laughs> <laughs> um, beautiful. I don't see money. <laughs> um, I only see race. <laughs> You see, Ray's classic me. That's joke. my joke. That is your joke. Don't do this. <laughs> We're just me. doing your routine. You're doxing <laughs> my set. <laughs> yeah, everyone's gonna be able to find your set. <laughs> oh my! We God. like promote your set on our <laughs> channel. Yeah. They're like, fuck your doxing. Only where you can punch find lines. my material. Only punchlines. <laughs> Only p- yeah. That's like the that's like the lead up punchline. You can, yeah. you guys have jokes where it's like. This is gonna get a laugh, but then my other thing's gonna get yeah, a laugh. Yeah, no, because yeah, I'm yeah. not a fucking genius. 
<laughs> yes, you are. That's. I was just saying, yeah, because I want her to be cool like you, me. Okay, okay. I have Sorry, jokes me... where the laughter's tepid, and I have yeah. jokes where the laughter's <laughs> decent. <laughs> That's it. Okay, I'll ask you a different question. You ever? That's how you know joke? you have range. Mm. That's true. Yeah, I I only kill, and it's so boring. Oh. And I'm about to cut myself soon. Yeah, good, because then you'll kill even harder. <laughs> yeah, to... myself. <laughs> You don't have any variety in your act. You're only amazing. Yeah, it's pretty annoying, actually. Guys, this is actually starting to get to my ego, and I'm actually worried for myself. So oh, we've been worried for you nonstop. <laughs> Come, since on, Gallagher! Come <laughs> on, Gallagher! Come on, Gallagher! Come on, Gallagher! I want to ask, wait, when uh, when did you start stand-up, and what was the impetus beh behind starting stand-up for you? Oh, good question, good question, good question. Yeah. I like this question. Um, mm. I start, I'm going to be Elizabeth Holmes. <laughs> um, <laughs> so Thanos started when I was 17. Thanos. Um, uh, first they think you're crazy, and then you change the world. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's about not blood. saying goodbye ever. What is what's or she says a, a world where no one will ever have to say goodbye too soon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like, ever hear of getting hit by a bus, idiot? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Only blood testing st uh, stops that from happening. Oh, mm. is that true? Yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. that's true. I, I did get blood work done. They're like, your, uh, your, your mom's going to hit you. <laughs> and, <so. laughs> and it was true, right? It was true. Yeah. But, but it's because you got that pin prick from Elizabeth Holmes that it's, you knew. Yes, mm. I knew. And then, uh, well, I did instigate. And what, here's the thing is like, once you know that like this could happen, then you're like, well, I'm just going to make it happen as soon as possible. Right. Yeah, sure. Wait around. And then I was like, mom, hit me. And then what did she do next? Oh, she hit me. Oh. Yeah. 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 Manifesting. Well, it works. <laughs> <laughs> it was on my vision board. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, I had an intrusive thought of like one of those cork boards with like vision board photos, but it's all just stock photos of fists in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to get fucking punched. Uh, my, oh, wait, that would be a clitoris's uh, vision board is just getting. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh Clitoris is love to get just murdered. Can we make an Etsy of different vision boards for different people? And <laughs> I thought you were going to say for different body parts. <laughs> different what each body part wants. I consider a body part a person. Yeah. It's 2020. It's like a corporation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Corporations are clitorises. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're so beautiful because yeah. they're sensitive. Yeah, yeah. And they, and they're and they pink litigate. <laughs> and brown sometimes. Mm. And pink and brown. Mm hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, when and why you started stand up? You started at oh. the, like a. Uh, you were very young, weren't you? You were eight. I was tiny. You were a little. I talked like this. Hi guys, let's do stand up. Hey friends, what's hey, up? Friends, you're all my best friends. <laughs> Um, I was 17 the first time I did it. Yeah. And so cool. I, yeah, so cool. So bad. I was so bad for so long. You're so badass. So, yeah, my ass was like, bad. Yeah, terrible. Was well, you know what the thing about stand up comedy is that people don't realize is that you have to be bad for a really long time to be mm. good. Yeah, it's so, cr but, but the thing that saves you is the delusion. You have a delusion mm. for a while that carries you. Like, oh, actually, I got a laugh last week and I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> and it's, that's not the case. You have to have the delusion. You have oh, to yeah. believe even yeah. when you bomb, you have to be like, next time I will do well. Oh, yeah. Well, but, can I say, like, yeah. I was, I auditioned for my college's, like, uh, a film sketch group. They would put sketches on YouTube and stuff. I auditioned for that for four years. I got rejected every single time. <gasps> and still after that, I was like, I think I should try stand up. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's why, I mean, but we have to deal with rejections so much so consistently. Indeed. That. But, but you're, but we do do well or else we wouldn't do it. Hopefully. Right, of course. So there is that thing of like, I just bombed or b before I go on stage these days, well, cause I'm nervous every single time, which I think we all are probably. How nervous were you like the first time though? Like, what was oh, that? Was... I, I'd love to hear what that first time was like <laughs> for you. I'm so, I, I love hearing sure. people's first. Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I was 17 and a half okay. and, um, I, I, I was in Florida for my first few months of stand up and where in Florida? It's it's a it's a little yonder place called Vero Beach. Huh. Yeah, it's where it's the place in all the country that gave the most money to Mitt Romney in twenty twelve. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. So it's like a but bunch not to Trump, just Mitt Romney. Just Mitt Romney in yeah, yeah. <laughs> in twenty sixteen also. It was crazy. <laughs> It was crazy. We just wanted to buy him a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> he looked hungry. Yeah. <laughs> um uh, Mitt Romney, subscribe to the Patreon. 
<laughs> he so wait um oh yes uh huh Huh? huh? What? what? Huh? So, uh, oh yeah. What? So I was in Florida. Did you do fart? Uh, yeah, yeah, but it wasn't like at you. It was just bo a bodily function. No, yeah. I just uh, I'm a fart enthusiast. So uh. we're just doing foley right now <laughs> for your story. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a background sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, do a puddle. Bloop. <laughs> Plop. <laughs> That's a puddle. Plop. Plop. <laughs> Um, so wait, here's my impression of a puddle. You yeah. ready? 9-11 uh -huh. was a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> Puddles are always saying that. They are always crazy. saying that, yeah. So mouthy. Yeah. All right, so you're in Florida. Picture this. Okay. Florida, 2015. I'm 17. Ooh, two different numbers. <laughs> um, are you following audience? Yeah, 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 I think so. Feel old yet? Feel old yet. <laughs> um, yeah, go on. And uh, so I was in Florida. I was so I was pretty miserable in Florida because I'm from here. I'm from New York City originally, mm -hmm. and I love New York. And Florida, Vero Beach specifically, it's 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 very red and and old. And I I didn't get a I didn't have friends. I was friends with the people I babysat for, and that's kind of it. And uh, so I was sort of miserable. And I watched Bo Burnham's special. Mm. He did oh, when yeah. he was like 21, 23 or something. It was like, oh, I can actually do this. This is easy. <laughs> and it just really made me jealous because I'm like, I've loved comedy forever. My, both of my parents used to be comics. And uh, that's that's what made me w want to do comedy in the first place. Mm. It was just always around in my house. And so I, I spent three months writing. Um, I was like, okay, I know I, I have to do stand up, but I'm so bored in Florida and sad. I'm going to start pursuing my dreams. And then I, um, I wrote for three months and then I did about nine minutes my first time on Whoa. stage. Yeah. Wait, how, what was, did they give you nine minutes or did you just run that? Light? <laughs> yeah. I was Maybe, did you run that light? There was one new mic in this Vero beach. It happened like three times total and it was once a month. Okay. And I happen it happened to be around the same time that I wanted to start doing stand up, and they they had a thing where it's like do five minutes and then in the second round you can do another five minutes. And oh. so I just asked like, hey, I I wrote more than that because I didn't understand, I didn't know any, any yeah, of it yeah. or anything about open mics or anything. So they I was like, can I just combine my my two five minutes? Doesn't that work? It's <laughs> the same amount of time. <laughs> and they yeah. said, yes, do it. And uh, so I did nine minutes. And it, for a first time, it went, it went fine. I got a stage high from it. My mom was there. Aww. Um, Aww. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's on YouTube. Private. <gasps> it's private on YouTube. Whoa. Yeah. Subscribe to the Patreon for the two nosy. And you will cats. not get the link. You, you just won't like... get it. No. But you'll you you can get part of the link. The YouTube.com part. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have to pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> you have to pay for YouTube.com. Get uh, just click this link to get YouTube premium. I'm not gonna get a cut. I just want you to get a YouTube premium. <laughs> yeah. just like, you I used to have YouTube premium. I don't know why. What did you use it for? I don't remember. <laughs> well, they have original content. Isn't that correct? Maybe that's why there was oh. some original Oh, wasn't the fucking Justin Bieber documentary on there? Mm. It might have been. Demi Lovato's thing where she's like, I did heroin. That's on there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a, a two second clip. I did heroin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, oh, Everyone's like, that's it. That's the whole documentary. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. But she sings it. She's like, <laughs> it's a pretty good Demi Lovato impression. <laughs> that's pretty good. I just ran out. Yeah, almost died. It's it's new. It's a yeah. new sound. <laughs> yeah, that's really good. That was awesome. Thank yeah, you. It actually sounds a lot like my life. Your life mm. is um heroin. <laughs> your life is here. Harrowing. Harrowing. Mm. Oh. Your life is um girl parts and boy parts. I don't know what life is about. <laughs> my life's a my life a movie. Gabby has a very That's Gabby true. has a very very diet. Uh, it eats both girl parts and boy parts on the plate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I I separate them though. Roasted, yeah. boiled all the ways. Ouch. Can I just say um on behalf of someone who has parts? Mm, ouch. <laughs> Thank you for representing, because I have no parts. Yeah. I'm the ambassador of 
um, having arms and legs. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. I'm no. crazy. You're not like other girls. <laughs> arms and legs. I'm arms and legs. Arms and legs. Yeah. Do you remember your second mic? Because I yes. feel like yeah. the well, first you, mic wait. is always okay, and then the second mic is usually bad. Mm. Y- yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is what happened, I think. Um, it, it went worse. It didn't go, I didn't like, it didn't go super terrible, but mm. it, it, I went, I drove like 50 minutes to another town because where I was, there was no comedy happening. Wow. And I did well enough to like make friends who I still have those friends today um, f- from that place. But uh, are they still in that place? Uh, some of them. Some of them are still okay. there doing comedy there. Shout oh, out okay. to uh, Christian, Paige, Travis, um, Mia. <laughs> That's me. No, <laughs> I'm not there anymore. But uh, yeah. Shout out to me. Uh, me. Uh, is that how you me, say, uh, remember my name? Shout out to me. Yeah, uh, I have. I have think, such a hard time remembering your name. I'm always like, okay, so one. Of I them just is think like, of me, and I go, oh, what I am, <laughs> and then yeah. when I'm trying to remember, I'm like, oh. You just go. Me, uh, me, uh, 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 me, ew. Uh, <laughs> that's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the original. That's the, the original. The E W silent. Back in, back in the old country. Yeah. Oh, is the, oh, what accent is that? You're. Uh, by the way, you're not allowed to do accents anymore. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. In general, even white ones. So. No. <laughs> Even the white ones. Even the white ones. So you can't do Southern. You can't do California. You yeah. can't do dumb person, white person, dumb white person. I can't even do Transylvanian. Uh, let's hear it. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. Ah, 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 ah. It's honestly really transphobic. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Yummy. Yummy joke. Transphobia. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Ooh, I'm hungry. <laughs> 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 Transphobia makes me starving. Ooh. <laughs> Introducing the McRib. Just <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a what a McDonald's commercial for commercial. McDonald's. Mm, Transphobia. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't right. Mm-hmm. This, isn't, this feels wrong. The McRib's delicious, by the way. I didn't know that. Never had a McRib. Are you a vegetarian? I'm, I'm vegan and I'm a, I have Crohn's disease. Oh, and it's here wait, to stay. Can I tell you the experience of being on uh, Mia's podcast with uh uh leland and charlie dawson because like i was sitting next to mia <laughs> and, every oh, okay. single I know said, yeah. and like it was a f- it was a really fun time very silly and um but every time i turned left i saw <laughs> mia just taking a bite of a boiled potato <laughs> hey microwaved excuse sir. me and like but here's the thing every time it surprised me because every time I was like, oh, I forgot that this potato was here. And the me was like, stop looking at you me. You have potato impermanence. <laughs> yeah. You all, do you always microwave your potatoes? Um, I, I don't, I don't have access Sabbath. to a kitchen. <laughs> Only on the, okay, we're, let's not bring up, let's not bring up the Sabbath, okay? Yeah. yeah. Only church, please. Yeah. yeah. It's about to be Easter. Oh, is it not? Oh, wait, no, Easter Sunday, of course, is coming up. You yeah. opened for the bunny last week, right? Yeah. I opened for the bunny. Uh, didn't pay me at all. Oh, that's awful. Bunny didn't pay me. Uh, in fact, they they touched me. They touched my butt. Oh. Yeah. Dogs dogs and bunnies. <laughs> mm. Was you're it a- big in the animal community. <laughs> yeah. You're very, you're- oh, I'm thick, man. Yeah. <laughs> Are you sure it was on purpose, though? Maybe his ears just got out of control. Um, like grazed you going by, and you thought that it was, and it was a big misunderstanding, perhaps. Oh shit! Okay, uh, I got, I gotta be quiet on Twitter then because I've been saying some nasty things, <laughs> and if this was an accident, <laughs> oh, egg on my face. <laughs> Feels so crazy. What so a quinky dink. I thought that this was sexual assault. <laughs> Turns out, just he is. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to listen. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? At the end of the day, like that, the sexual assault by bunnies, like that's very of its time. At the, he's still a good comic. Yeah. yeah it, that's the thing is like I'll still listen. I, I can separate the bunny from 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 the, the art. From the art. Yeah. <laughs> um, his eggs are still hatchable. You know. Yeah. Why why do bunny have eggs? On e- <laughs> <laughs> why do bunny have egg? Why do bunny have egg on Easter? That's so weird. Uh, what deal? Uh, <laughs> and oh, I why saw are they egg- chocolate eggs? Um why got to be black? Be- <laughs> <laughs> why got 
gotta be black. Why? Why? They were. They were only. They were only caramel until the civil rights movement. Uh, um, affirmative action. <laughs> <laughs> I actually no. I saw, I saw it explained in a very good episode of South Park that it was all a conspiracy to hide that the first pope was actually a rabbit. Whoa. Yeah. Shit. And that that's why the Pope's hat looks like that. It's because it's made for rabbit ears. It oh. like that was the one episode of South Park that my dad actually really liked because he was like, that was really clever. That's perfect. It's so it's such a good episode. That's so funny. And that, that like Saint Peter was a rabbit, Peter Rabbit, and it was like Oh my god. And that like the eggs are are a clue. And it was just like it was as a no, because it was like it was like right in front of Peter on the uh the Last Supper. Oh, and that it was egg. all like a way to like find the last descendant of like the old Peter Rabbit. Wow, it was such a good episode of South Park. We have to start listening to TV. Yeah, we I agree. To, we have to start listening to what it says because it's yeah. actually right. The answers are out there. The answers are do 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 do. What's X Files? Oh, I don't know the thing. Oh, uh, X Files is um. It's not unusual <laughs> to be loved <laughs> by the one. X Files is bra chica bra bra bra. The ting goes, <laughs> we got the souls. What type no souls? It's exclusive English rap. <laughs> oh my god. The ting goes, quick maths. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I just don't know, okay? <laughs> I just don't know. You know the English eat beans for breakfast? They do, well, I was I was given that a number of times and I hated baked beans like because that. of it. Beans on toast is the weirdest thing. It's just be, it's just beans and it's just toast and then It's like go, Heinz <laughs> baked beans on toast. Oh, okay. Well, I just eat plain microwave potatoes so that actually is a step up how long does me. it take to microwave a potato takes, i'm genuinely asking so it depends on the microwave i'm asking for a friend I'm, i would never ask for myself no you should you should ask for yourself because you're gonna need this information in the future okay you can't make friends in comedy also <laughs> unless you have <laughs> baked beans on toast uh, yeah you can't you, you shouldn't <laughs> you should, never you, make friends in comedy <laughs> what because we're all competing. Make only enemies. We're all competing. So only you enemies. Know, you yeah. Know, it's like. Yeah. I have a sword. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna joust. I'm in this. I'm in this business for the rivalry. I'm in it for the <laughs> yeah. fights. If you can't see it on the camera, Mia has pulled out the biggest sword I've ever seen in my entire oh, life, and she is fucking wielding it. It's so big. It's and so yeah. big. It's and so long, hard. Pointy. And it's got it's got a crazy circumference to it. It's a oh. mallet. <laughs> it's a mallet on the clip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, the way, but your uh, your first mic in New York, what was that like? The, um, how so, and soon, how soon oh, after your first ever mic was it? Um, it was about five months ish. Okay. Like I I was doing comedy for about five months mm -hmm. in Florida, and then I was like, oh, I'm 18. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the big city. Do go mm. to the mecca of comedy, and then I did, and then I what was my first? Oh, it was at Stand Up New York. Oh, okay. They had a five o'clock mic there, and oh, it was so fucking dumb. It's so dumb because my my again, my parents used to do comedy decades ago, and <clears throat> so you would think I would be smarter than this following thing I'm about to say. Oh. Uh, there was an online sign up for the mic at Stand Up New York, and you could you you just typed your name in, and then you're on the list. And I saw on the list there was Louis C K. And like Michael Jordan, I think. <laughs> and I was what? like, I was on the, I remember being on the phone with my mom. I was 18. I went, mom, is, <laughs> does this happen in New York? Does Louis just do mics? <laughs> does he just drop in at an open mic? And then I thought about it for, I, it took me a while to calm down. And then I was like, oh, anyone can type any name into yeah. this list. Someone just wrote Louis C.K. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, Louis C.K. wrote it. Yeah. <laughs> His own name. Yeah, right. Well, Louis C.K. wrote Michael Jordan, and Michael Jordan wrote Louis C.K. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, they, yeah. They're such pranks. They're such a cute couple. Yeah. <laughs> and then someone wrote Mia Faith Hammond. Uh, that that one was me. Yeah, oh, Obama right. did. Obama. <laughs> Obama. Great comic. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, no, it's, I don't think he's funny. He exclusively <laughs> does the grizzly pair now. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a better set than, uh, than Obama? Um... You know, I I didn't have a good set my 
but it was it was like fine no it wasn't mm-hmm. good i wasn't good but it was okay but i did have a better set than obama you yeah, better yeah, believe yeah. it yeah. hell yeah you did um it wasn't until like my maybe my fourth set in the city where i was like okay i actually got laughs this time and this nice. that felt good and people yeah. like came up to me and shook my hand and i felt like a like a real girl oh yeah, felt like a real pretty you your girl. legs <laughs> what, so why did you move to florida and then why'd you come back to new york yeah um i uh uh my my mommy my mommy's from florida originally oh and we we would go back and forth like uh sometimes i'm mostly from new york but uh when times got tough or like for for the the biggest chunk of time when i was in florida which was about six years in my high school years mm-hmm. uh we went because of sort of like divorce reasons okay. and uh family stuff and new york is also very expensive right so it's like oh okay well my uh daddy is being bad and now we gotta go to florida and do you, so do you have family in florida a lot of family no, I don't I don't have a lot of family in general. Well, I do I have like a mom and then I have three dads and then I have a grandma and that's it. Um <clears throat> not to take away from the seriousness of the subject, but that is the plot of Mamma Mia. Whoa, and what's my name? Whoa Mamma Mia Here we go again. And here's Cher Um But yeah, I don't want Cher to come over. I want Cher to come. What? But not to come over. Oh, okay. Yeah. She shares a nice guy. She just, yeah. He deserves. He deserves all the all the coming in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Cher should only come if, he, if he's a man. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. That's true. that's the only way he can come because women don't come. Women don't. Come, they refuse. <laughs> they <laughs> like, <laughs> I know. Every time you're having sex, you're like, wait a minute. Do not do <laughs> this to completion. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we got to remember, no coming here. No, come on. Yeah. Don't even go there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Lord's way. Not the Lord's way. Yeah. Oh, I, I yeah. stepped away from the. Can I? Can you do the pod from over here? I mean, you can, but I'd be furious at you. Oh my God, I can't stand. You know, Lucas, at. he's always putting on the iron fist. Yeah. You. Um, I'll give you what for. <laughs> the first time I ever met you, you you tried to um, shoot me in the face. Remember yeah. that? And I said. No. You know mm-hmm. why? Because you were close to becoming his friend. And Lucas was like, and no I was like, friends in comedy. No friends in comedy. No only friends. enemies. So I would have to kill you if you became my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that tracks. Yeah. Um, and just... Name one friend I have in this biz. See? Dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. They're all dead. You're friends with Kobe. <laughs> oh, Kobe Beef. <laughs> Kobe Beef. Kobe Beef. Kobe Beef. Um, was that too soon? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I yeah, just it was only five years ago. <laughs> yeah, was that was while. two years ago. That was twenty twenty. Holy shit! You're right. It was, was right over. Before. That was little over two years ago. I remember being fully unable to process that situation. Sometimes I think like with death and stuff. You know, were you a, were you a basketball fan, or a, or just a Kobe fan? I her yeah. death fan. I was a <laughs> huge death. Are you fan. a fan of uh, helicopters? Uh. When I was younger, there was a book series by someone named Matt Christopher, and he would pro he would do little book profiles of all of the like two thousands athletes. So I read the ones for Derek Jeter, Alex Rodriguez, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, and I think Peyton Manning. Whoa! So I was a fan of Kobe Bryant for that reason, even though I'm not a huge basketball person. For mm. literature reasons, for literature, yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. literature, yeah. complete. Yeah. I prefer the book. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Baseball, the book's better. Oh my god! Were you a sports fan growing up? Yeah, I guess no. in Florida, maybe they have sports. No. They they have sports in Florida, yeah. Um, but I I I liked I would I like playing sports. I was never good at it, but I would um play like baseball with with one of my dads and uh i would pretend to like the yankees for him but otherwise i just i don't know were your other dads fans of rival teams and you then had to fake a lead <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah i would yeah, like yeah. mrs doubt fire them with you have the, like, <laughs> baseball hats yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you, you oh you have a drawer that's isolated from any from all of your dads it's yeah. like this is my this is my sports team for that one that one that one yeah 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 one of them tried to go into the other one i was like no don't go in there um, but yeah, I'm just I, trying to maintain relationship. Just, <laughs> yeah, I just want to be loved. Oh, I just want to be right. Just a little wib, baby. Um, and you can only love someone if you like the same team. 
That's true. Yeah. Um, do you get you guys like sports? I, I, I really like baseball, which I don't think is a sport. Okay. Yeah. yeah. yeah it's very slow, but I think it's fun to uh, like. Yeah, I love mm. baseball. Okay, you love it. I like love it's, it. It's, it has a lot of lore. It has, there's a lot of lore oh, yes. to it. On an, on this night 40 years ago, yeah, yeah. a man with a ball threw it. <laughs> it literally is yeah. like that. I actually, I get I get really into it. I have a burner Twitter that just tweets baseball stuff. Really? Yeah, I do. I still haven't seen this account. You need to send oh, it to yeah, me. Oh, yeah, I'll, fo- I'll follow you yeah. on it. I'll follow you. But, uh, but yeah, I'm, I am not really a sports fan. Not really. Okay. I do like seeing Wimbledon, though. I like watching Wimbledon. That's the tennis. tennis. Yeah, tennis. I yeah, love yeah, yeah. watching Wimbledon. Um, uh, quick question. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, dude. Why? Yeah, I just have one more quick question. Why? Why? It's very easy to follow. That's God. why. <laughs> it doesn't require a lot of brain power, and I got to use it for other stuff. Ooh yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Solid, Thank you. Solitaire. Thank you for your contribution. You're um it wasn't a rumbly burp like yeah. Tina's. <laughs> 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 we had a guest on who like really really to- it, the burp was at like a one decibel. <laughs> oh my. But I but I could hear it from I was sitting over here and she was sitting over there uh because this one uh was so uh, lazy and got covid yeah it was, um, it was really lazy have you dude, had covid yet have you had the vid i've had it uh at least once or twice yeah okay yeah yeah um what was your review tasty yeah, yeah. you didn't lose taste so it was tasty it was tasty i actually did lose taste I, <laughs> oh you did <laughs> oh, oh, is it back it's it yeah it's back and it's backer than ever yeah <laughs> back and backer than ever. Do you remember the first time you tasted something again? You were like, "Fuck yeah!" Yeah, it my, luckily mine only lasted for a day or two, but um, it it, it was sad because I bought these. I I can't have s- stuff uh, food um because my Crohn's disease. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but there were these like particular cookies I could kind of get away with having, mm-hmm. and I was so excited to have them. And they were the first time I was ever gonna have them. I put them in my mouth. I went. Are they supposed to taste like just grain, grainy sand? <laughs> oh. Just like texture? Is it just a texture cookie? Or, um, and then I realized. <laughs> Food that is just there for texture. the texture. <laughs> <laughs> Zero. F- oh my God, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that is funny. Yeah. At one point I you thought think, I you was think losing th- taste. You think there's like a, you think there's like people that are in, that like food only for the texture, sort of like boobs and butt people. Like some people <laughs> yeah. like the flavor, some people like the texture. Yeah. Are you a food person or a texture person? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. I'm a yeah. foot guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There I'm you a go. foot person. I like the texture of the foot more than the taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> more my thing. I think that's most people. <laughs> I don't agree. No. I you don't agree with you. Whoa. I'm so angry. The podcast does not encourage dissent. I'm going to debate you on this on the national stage. Come on, Gallagher. No. Come, gonna, on <laughs> Gallagher. Come on, Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send you. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to listen to just that clip. It's, oh. it's beautiful. I oh, love wait. those little phrases you just repeat. Like, um, yeah. Uh, Aaron got me really into drag race. And uh, at one point, this one queen goes up and does a roast of michelle 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 visage, visage. Yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and uh, it's pheromone the queen when she really she really bombs oh, uh, but before she goes up she goes let's get this roast to cook in and that's now one of my favorite things to oh. say before i cook let's <laughs> oh <laughs> a ro- cooking a roast i did make a brisket uh mm. l- last night how for was Passover. it oh it turned out so good oh amazing it's martha stewart's recipe i can't really Whoa. give myself credit Ooh, she I love when to... she panders. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd she go? She went to jail. She did. For college? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some people went to NYU. Some people go to jail uh, for college. <laughs> Some people do genuinely do. They get their college degree in, uh, in jail. Good for them. Good for them. Yeah. I'm glad that we're in a society that allows that. Yes. Yeah. Jail is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If just one person can get their yeah. college degree in jail, that means there's no other problems <laughs> with the system. Yeah. Did yeah. you do anything for a Passover? No, I'm not that Jewish. No. Um, I'm just sort of like, oh, I can wear this yarmulke and no one can tell me not to. I thought yesterday, what if there was a brand of nude yarmulkes? Ooh. <laughs> you know, it's for true bald, most people that they peoples? can wear yarmulkes. Wait, say that again, sorry? It's true of most people they can wear yarmulkes. Oh yeah, that they're nude. Wait, what? No, it's <laughs> yeah, you can be nude. <laughs> <and wear yarmulke. laughs> yeah, 
just in, whether you're Jewish or not, you can purchase and wear a yarmulke. Oh yeah, yeah. You Nothing's can, you like can. stopping you. No, you can just buy them. Yeah, that's true. It's like chloroform. You can just buy it. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah. Oh I no. So. I saw someone say that. I was like, what? And then I went on Amazon. I was like, oh. I'm, I can't. I shouldn't be able to buy this. Yeah. What What is it? What is it used for other than the perfect crime? Flavor. Gotcha. <laughs> oh yeah, you put it in your water. Yeah. Mm, makes spicy. it green and spicy. Yeah. Okay. And then you take a nap. <laughs> oh. Oh yeah. Kind of like a melatonin. It's yeah. But it's forever. Uh oh. <laughs> it's forever. <laughs> I don't actually think chloroform. What my my understanding of chloroform is yeah, you just like put it over someone's face, they nap for a while, you commit your crime, and then they like wake up. Hmm. What a the great crime? ad for it. <laughs> you commit your crime. That's why we're it's easy as one, two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Use two nosy meerkats for a coupon and chloroform <laughs> today. Imagine, imagine like QVC for chloroform. So like it's a wonderful chemical. You just use it like this, and then someone just falls down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, then someone is like, he'll be fine. <laughs> they get Martha fine. and Snoop on. Yeah. Love that they're besties. They're it's so it's so besties. cute. I want them to do a buddy cop movie or something like that. That yeah. would be fun. An action movie with them? That would be Where fun. it's like all A-cab themed? Yeah. Yeah. We know we're the problem. <laughs> That's the theme. Martha's, Martha's a real one, you know? Oh, yeah. She didn't snitch. That's like Snoop Dogg's favorite thing about her is that when she <laughs> went to jail, she didn't give any names away. Whoa. Yep. It, wait. Oh, there she was involved with other people. I, what was I don't it? Was tax something? I don't. I think it was. I think it was. Her accountant thing. fucked her over, but she wouldn't sell out the accountant. She was like, "I'm going to. All right, I'm going yep. to jail." So it was. It. She didn't really do anything wrong. It was someone. It was kind of someone else. I think that that is. I. I haven't like read up on it, but I'm pretty sure that's true. Something like that. Yeah. Oh man, that's whack. I know. She's so frick. Can we get? She's her, awesome. Can we get her on? I would love yeah. to get her on. I would her. love that. Have you seen pictures of her when she was naked. younger and naked? What? Yeah. Well, now I do. <laughs> now I need to see that. Well, I just know the younger part, but young. She was a naked. milf. She was a milf even before she had a kid. If wow. she has a kid, I'm googling. And now I. I'll do the Google theme song. If you need to know something now, just grab oh your my phone God. and ignore your friend. That's her. Wait, She's can I see uh, this? Look at. What's the thing in Lord. Wayne's world? I just threw up <laughs> in a, in a hot way. For those not watching, I just threw up Nia in a bad way. Just projectile <laughs> vomited. Yeah, but it, you know, but uh, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? Clean it up? Don't <laughs> think so. Nami. I Don't can see what you mean. She does look like a milf back in the day, even. Yeah. 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 She, yeah. No, she is classic like '60s look. Yes, very classic '60s. You know, look. Snoop Dogg yeah. looked very similar to her when he was young. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. 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 He was. He was just a hot blonde on the town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was a bin up kind of guy. Do you know that uh, he went to high school with Cameron Diaz, and Cameron Diaz tried to buy weed from him? Really? She tried to. Tried to. Yeah. Was she just Sounds being like racist? Be yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were gonna exchange money. Listen. And she was like, "I just think the South won," and he was like, "Well, no <laughs> the South more weed won for you." I just think that not even like I'm on the side of the South. Like they, no, they won. <laughs> they absolutely yeah. won. She's like, "I'm not taking sides. This is yeah. an objective discussion." What a, <laughs> yeah. What a I'm, Mandela effect. No, the South won, right? Hundred percent. The South. <laughs> the Mandela effect. Yeah. <laughs> the Bernstein Bears were uh, conservatives, right? Whatever. That's great. Those Mandela effect, but like if the Holocaust happened. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and and what is the consensus on that again? Um. Um. You know, some people say. Um. Some people remember it differently. Yeah, I remember yeah. it blue. <laughs> yeah, the blue Holocaust blue yeah. period. I remember. Blue period. That's the way I remember the photos. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Oh. They were all. Um, sad Blue. <laughs> <laughs> they were so sad <laughs> um before we get into listener submissions may yes. i just ask uh do you still keep in touch with all three of your dads uh two out of the three okay, two out yeah. of three my biological dad who didn't raise me but we cool mm -hmm. okay. and uh and my current stepdad okay who is five years six years into my life i thought yeah. you were about to say six years older than you <laughs> i thought you were gonna say six years old 
Um, oh. I could. Do you want me to say those things? I could. I, <laughs> I know how to. <laughs> would not to put words in your mouth. <laughs> I'm imagining like, your mom like auditioning kids to like just for a sketch where she's like, oh yeah, no, this is your new stepdad. <laughs> yeah, she went to Nick Jr. Yeah. And oh, by the way, my mom says hello Aww. to just Lucas, just me. God, yeah, she's <laughs> yeah, she hasn't met you, Gabby. Okay, just hasn't You've met, met her you mom? yet. I have met yeah. Mia's mom in a, what? In, a, in a park. I met Mia's mom at a uh, July Fourth outdoor party in McCarran Park last year. Yes, at a at a comedy party. Oh yeah. How was she? She was delightful. She was yeah. very lovely. And you when you introduced her, you were like, "Hey, um, this is my boyfriend. I call her mom." <laughs> was, is that what I said? Those are your exact words. Oh no. Oh, do you I, get do you get it from her? Uh, it being uh, my boyfriend, like the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, do you, By which you mean yeah, she, herpes? Uh, <laughs> I got yeah, it from you, my mom. Did you get your boyfriend from her? <laughs> did you, did she like hand him over to you? Like, hey, you should meet this guy. Yeah, she made she made him like Edward Scissorhands. Oh, he's just a sharp lady. Oh, you know, he's a good looking guy, but he does have Edward Scissorhands vibes in the sense of like he could be like made in a lab by someone. I think. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? for real, for real. Yeah. Um, and he. Really ruined my water bed let's just say that oh yeah yeah, yeah. he peed on it he yeah peed on <laughs> he peed on like, it stop adding to the water bed okay? <laughs> edward scissor hands can never spe- sleep on a water bed that's pretty sad i know not that that's i've sad. ever slept on one come to think of it not because of scissors mm. because of uh, human rights he doesn't have any rights oh thank god since we took him away He's scary i'm scared of him yeah 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 you uh, should always remove the rights of people were you think he of. could vote Mm. Hmm. It'd be hard with his hands. Yeah. Also, yeah. is he a U.S. citizen? <laughs> hey, yeah, think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's like the birth certificate? I feel like he's Canadian. Oh, no. You know. Are we Edward Scissorhands birther? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Trump being like, "I think he's from Kenya." <laughs> <laughs> Just <laughs> wait, Trump going, um, Kenyan vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Just anyone who's taller than Trump is from Kenya. I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh my god but yeah my mom my mom uh my mom likes you and my oh. mom will know about you yeah that's awesome from this day on she will fuck yes, yes. that's so exciting i would yes. love your mom to know about me i'm gonna yeah. i called her before this podcast and i'm gonna call her after i'm gonna be like mom i met them i met the ones oh i met the podcast hosts for Two lousy meerkat. What is it? What is it called? <laughs> two fucking idiot two meerkat. <laughs> fucking piece of shit. Two beta cuck simps. Two fucking toilet meerkat. <laughs> two that was closer. <laughs> two meerkats eating each other until one prevails to <laughs> fighting to the death. Oh man, meerkats yeah. are fun. Wait, yeah. why is it called that? Why is this class? We just that? we were trying to come up with a title and uh finish it. I think it was um, <laughs> Take it away. We were talking about like Play it again, Sam. <laughs> out of context <laughs> gossip and how like much we love that. And that's kind of one of the cores of this podcast is like people write in about like their friend group drama or whatever that like we have gotcha. nothing to do with, but we comment on. And then I think I said, like, do you know the show um Meerkat Manor? Famously lots of gossip. Oh, on Meerkat Manor. Beautiful. The show Meerkat Manor is crazy because it's about meerkat communities, but it's all about their like dynamics. Like it's actually pretty serious. Like one, one who's a the top, who's a bottom. You know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about who's a who's, who's an a otter, verse. who's a bear, yeah. who's a verse. It's a like verse. one meerkat got pregnant and like she couldn't be pregnant because the other one already had these kids that she was taking care of like the alpha lady so they had to determine whether to kill the babies of like the i i actually didn't know about this before we named the podcast <laughs> i was just like that's show meerkat manor where so they cute. talk about vibes yeah and so it was like there's two of us we're nosy and it's like that show gotcha. meerkat manor okay yeah. i like that i think it makes sense and i think your viewers like that and i think your listeners also like that um do you want i don't have any good gossip um but we know who does have gossip to share <gasps> among other things wait but before we get into oh that, yes okay 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 if you did have gossip what would it be yes um like about myself or someone else someone else i want to hear about you um i don't, don't want to hear it someone else someone else someone else okay 
Oh, I have I have a friend, and the friend and then the friend is a dog, and the dog ate my baby. Fuck! What? <laughs> yeah. What? How are you okay right now? <laughs> I'm not. I'm just holding it together. You honestly. shouldn't. Oh have my g- god! You poor thing. We would have given you the day off. We would have given you a, a baked good. We wouldn't have made you come here. I'm. Um. I. Yeah, I have to go. Okay. Oh, come on, Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> what if that's why Gallagher left? Because his friend was yeah. a dog. His dog he like faked a... And who ate his child? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, um, I, I, you know, I, I, I do have gossip, but it's about people in the comedy community, so it... Okay, so it's we'll talk about risky. it when we we'll talk about it when we cut the cameras. Okay, oh yeah, or okay. or you could replace them with names of like uh like a char- characters from Star Wars or whatever. So you're like, oh this so Chewbacca was cheating on oh, the Ewok. Okay. And, all right, so replace <laughs> um, names with with something okay. of your choice. Yeah. Um, the Mandalorian is gay. Whoa. Yeah. I believe that. Yeah, is pretty gay. Mandalorian. It's a gay name. It's yeah. Fucking yeah. Man. Man. Uh, man. Uh, just call Mandalorian. Him. Uh, where's the woman Delorean? <laughs> yeah. True. It just it, don't call yourself that something that long. Name yourself like Steve or something. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. To start, let's make Steve a Star Wars name. Let's have a let's have a change dot org petition. <laughs> make Steve a Star Wars name. <laughs> Done. Done. I, it's already put our, our intern as uh, who we hide in the corner has. Started Take care of that it. for us, Jamie. Jamie, can uh, you pull that up? Yeah. Jamie, do your job. All Jamie's right. fucking jerking off in the corner. Instead. Is Jamie a boy or girl? Uh, yes. Yes. Um, mm. All right. I guess there's more than just the binary these days. <laughs> I'm such a. Bitch. So I hear. So I've, you... I've only I've heard tell, but I haven't seen it with my own two eyes <laughs> okay okay all right let's get more of i'm talking the truth okay <laughs> truth to power uh, you, you ready for this i'm i'm so ready you read the first one okay you do it someone says my boyfriend shits really weird to preface we sold have... <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the best submissions i've seen yet great pre- pitch preface we've been together for about a year now and recently i was saying at his house, it was around 11 when I got up from bed to use the bathroom, only to find him squatting on the toilet, completely naked, taking a shit. Imagine Gollum from Lord of the Rings. I quickly walked away, and I don't think he knows. What should I do? I don't want to make it awkward by telling him what I saw. <laughs> but I feel bad for not telling him. Okay. Oh, my God. Don't tell him. Videotape him. Then <laughs> post send it on it YouTube to Lauren Michaels. Say, <laughs> we got the guy. <laughs> so, folks, we got the we next got big one. <laughs> oh my god! We got the a- new king of Staten Island, baby. <laughs> that's how they found Bin Laden. <laughs> 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 they found him shitting naked. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, how, what? How would you react if you walked in <laughs> on your lovely significant other pooping in such a fashion? Um, at first, at first I would be so embarrassed by <laughs> witnessing this. I'm, I'm very open with my boyfriend and he's open with me. Not, not, not sexually. Like, um, uh, wait. With uh, his asshole. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. He opens it's it for you to have a look. Yes. And it's good. <laughs> yeah. No. Just with like poop stuff or anything with sex, you both are closed <laughs> books. <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, yeah, we're no. we're very uh, sorry. What's the, what's the we're like? We're open emotionally to each other. That's we, great. We talk about everything. Intimate. Wonderful. Intimate, wonderful. Intimate. Wonderful. Yeah. wonderful. Um, yeah. but if <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining it now, if I caught him doing that, I, yeah, at first I'd be very embarrassed, and then later I think I would have to. I think I would have to say something. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a little what would like. You say? I would say, what's bitch. A- <laughs> <laughs> I'd say. Bitch, you are you're you a bitch, and then I'd tell him why. Wait, let's wait, let's do a little role play. All okay. right, I, I'm I'm your boyfriend. I'm like, oh hey Mia, what's going on? You having a good day? What's up? That's a really good impression. It's almost really good. Yeah, <laughs> Say, it's almost good if you looked like him. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> if you looked like a hot man made in a factory. <laughs> wait, wait, let me let me try to use something as a wig. To uh, wait, give me the plastic bag, just like. Oh yeah, yeah. that's very yeah. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, Adam! Hi. 
Hey, what's going on, Mia? <laughs> Great day out there today, right? Hey, Alan Alda, my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> my boy, I'm, I'm dating Alan Alda uh, from West Wing. Oh, wow, this is fantastic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is not the first time you've done your Alan Alda for me. I like think. the second time. Yeah. yeah, okay. Well, that's more than one. Yeah. I guess. All right, so, so what was it? Joke's you- getting old. Don't get it old. Mia, my girlfriend, what what do you want to talk about? Um, <laughs> oh God, what what indeed? Oh, I just th- I just heard this new th- I just heard this new song. Have you heard it? It goes like this: Yeah, you shit so weird, <laughs> you shit so weird. It's auto tuned. Oh yeah, is that the weekend? I love that song. Yeah, yeah. it's <laughs> this weekend. Crazy. I'm leaving you if you keep doing <laughs> this shit. <laughs> okay, for, okay, that's a great way to bring it up. That's <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely bring it up in song, listener. Yeah. I also don't want to throw a wrench in all of this, but I don't think it's that weird to shit completely naked. I've heard it. I heard completely it naked. Before. I could get around with. I could. I could come accustomed to that. But squatting on the toilet. Well, no. Okay. You know what? That's the part that I'm on board with because oh. <laughs> think about squatty potties. Well, I have a squatty potty. You do? I do. Okay. So you're what welcome if you, to try it. I will. I will have a bite. But <laughs> here, what if you imagine a world? Imagine yeah. this, Lucas. Imagine okay. this. You don't have the squatty potty. What the fuck are you gonna do? You're gonna squat on the toilet. Like no, a man. you put your the poor you man's sit. squatty potty. Yeah, you sit <laughs> yeah, and yeah. then you put your legs up, simulating the feeling of a squatty potty. Yeah. I'm actually quite passionate. Why about don't you this. just get stirrups? Just, be, just <laughs> turn your just turn your toilet into a, a gynecologist. I don't office. need to do that. I have a live-in <laughs> OBGYN who <laughs> helps me. Who just who just says push? I I pay I pay her. Yeah. Just anytime you have to shit, just actually give birth also and then uh, two birds with one shit baby <laughs> you ever see i didn't know i was pregnant oh it's crazy i've girl. heard of it and <laughs> i think i the it's in the name right like i i get the concept yeah by the yeah. name i would think imagine someone going what's that about <laughs> yeah yeah oh yeah. Uh, it's mad men it's just mad yeah. men. it's this mad yeah. men spinoff it's like snakes on a plane what's that about <laughs> dude <laughs> 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 I have had it with these accidental pregnancies on this accidental plane. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, all right. So all the right. general consensus is that is fucked up. You you need to talk about. And this you got to sing it to him. Yeah. You cannot talk. Wait, about it. I do have another question. Okay. Which is when you wipe your butt, and I know you do. I do. I You're love crazy. it. When you wipe what? your butt, do you? I'm a good guy. Do you stay seated? For the wipe, or do you stand up? No to wipe? standing no, up. You cannot stand up. Who the stands there up? There are a surprising number of people that stand That's nuts. to wipe. You can't. That that just makes more of a mess. Yes, Listeners I agree. Right in. Because in my so mind, weird. when you're stay seating, that's when your ass cheeks are more open, so you can yeah. get in there. And when you stand up, it's like closing. And then it, uh, you know, if there's a, if there's any ju- ju- juiciness happening, Juice? it's Juice? gonna yeah. it's gonna is spread. Any? Yes. Well, yeah. yeah, like you gotta, Jews. You yeah, you Jews. and you gotta use wet wipes. I've realized this. Uh, I don't. I don't. Oh, I don't. Wipes. I don't. I don't. I don't mess with okay. the. I'm Sorry a dry that guy. You have privileged yeah. wet poops, but well, I have a bidet to help me out. You do. I love her. Good bidet to good you. Bidet to good you, bidet to you. Good bidet to you. I said good bidet. I always forget to use it when I'm here. Oh yeah. Oh, you gotta try it. I'm gonna use it. Don't don't even try to put. Just use it. Just just spray yourself a little bit. Nice. Yeah. Treat yourself. Should I do it right now? Because you're worth it. Oh, thank you. You're worth your butthole being all good. All wet. <laughs> <laughs> I just uh. genuinely didn't have a response for a second. I was taking it. I was like, why don't I think I'm worth it? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Holy shit, man. All right, guys. All right. We, we have another one. Um, hi, Meerkats. I hi. love the show. It has helped me cope with some things recently. I am a musician, but I have a case of stage right, uh, stage fright. I want to play in front of people because I know I'm not bad, but it just stresses me out. I was thinking of taking my guitar to school and playing a little, but uh, I don't know. Uh, But I don't know if that will increase or decrease my stress. Also, when you guys do open mics, does the nervousness ever go away? This is what we were talking about. And how did your first open mic go? Well, we pretty much um, answered this, but I will say that... um, Something that my therapist has uh, recommended to me is to have like a comfort item, something that I can like maybe fit in my pocket that will that I can hold or touch and that will give me comfort before I go on stage. Oh, that's interesting. I haven't heard yeah. that. That's some. That's actually a good thing. Yeah, that's 
really cool. Yeah. I just remind myself on stage. Oh, yeah. This was what I was going to say earlier is like, okay, I could bomb. That's totally in the realm of possibility Mm -hmm. because it happens all the time sometimes. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you will do well in the future. And that Mm -hmm. is a fact. It might just not be now. And then it either goes well or it doesn't. But I but I do have my comfort of like next time it'll go well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, listener, listen, baby, booby. It's always nerve wracking every time, but it does get better and you get more confident. Yeah. It's more that you get used to your own nervousness and it becomes mm-hmm. almost like a friend that you can just deal with better. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh, you again. OK, come yeah. inside. You have some water. I was I was water my nerves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got to use it, I think. That's something I learned from yes. acting. Yes. It's yo, it's important to be nervous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That means you care. Yes. That that is how you know that you care about something. That's yes. what yeah. I always hated doing something I wasn't nervous for. Like I used to not be nervous before improv shows, and that's the worst because that meant I was really not enjoying myself. And mm. to not enjoy yourself doing improv is like Oh. I mean, that's really pathetic because, like, that's the worst art form. You but it is the like only way I can come it. is to do improv and not be nervous about it. These... <laughs> yes, and <laughs> ah, that's what you do. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, so yeah, I would say if you're a musician, especially, like, mm. I mean, I don't know what people do with the strings, but oh, they strum. Yeah. So if you're strumming, I mean, like, if you're nervous, they like, hammer it like a clit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> use it on your mallet. They throw yeah. them away. That is actually how a piano works: is hammers on the strings. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've I've seen that. Yeah. 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 That's so violent. Fun. Yeah. What yeah. a violent instrument. It. Fu- the strings it do fu- not consent. Yeah. If if you if you drop a piano, uh, on a, you know like down a few stories on a mm. person, that's like. 88 hammers on that person. <laughs> so that, that's brutal. That's a great way you to know, look at it. You know, I think that like <laughs> silence is violence and the fact that we are sitting here letting piano music just happen. Yeah. It's kind of like well, we are the bystanders here. We're, we are the world. We are the children. The children. <laughs> We're little babies. Yeah. Touch us. <laughs> uh, Do you want to read another one? Yes. Uh, so the general consensus is touch the baby. Touch the yes, baby. Yes, touch the baby and... uh. Yeah, just uh, there are lots of different coping. Oh, also, um, look up EFT tapping. That is an exercise that I have used. I literally, uh, when I was first starting out with stand up, I um, I was a lot more nervous than I am now, and I felt myself like really panicking before I went on stage. Mm-hmm. And there was this technique where it was just like tapping pressure points in my hand and across like my face and my body as a way, and reciting a mantra to help like diffuse anxiety through my body and it worked amazingly really and I, I i texted my therapist just to let her i was like hey i was feeling myself panicking i did the exercise that you taught me and i it went great and i had a great time on stage and she was like that's awesome it was just oh, like a wow. very happy it was a very happy thing of something working so look up eft tapping and that's something that you can do anytime you want it's very sustainable whoa it's uh you just you hit your you just you hit just yourself. hit yourself, you hit yourself. <laughs> boom, yeah. Boom, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a wonderful That's thing to do different yeah. uh i have a fear someone writes in of people spitting i find it disgusting and the sound of sight of it make me throw up a little bit after about three years i've only just managed to tolerate myself spitting out toothpaste with my eyes open and i'm not going to lie i am tempted to punch people when they do it this isn't the most entertaining. Well, I disagree. But maybe one day I'll either punch someone or get over it. I suspect the former. Whoa. Did you so, write this, Mia? Um, no. Did you ask someone to write it for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Okay. So, no no spitting. No spitting. No. Spitters. Not even there. Not even this individual spitting themselves. That I find really surprising. That's wild. Spitters aren't quitters. They're terrorists. Well, that's true, first of all. Second of all, Wikipedia. The best thing you can do when you have a fear is immersion therapy. So mm-hmm. I think you got to swim in a pool of spit, <laughs> baby. I think you got to go to like a pool, say, get this water out of this yeah. pool. And I'm then gonna... get and then get a few good friends <laughs> and a few good men. What up, man? <laughs> Bring your own vacuum. Yeah. And then um, you know, just uh do just go to town. do that go to town um and you're gonna feel better after you swim in the spit uh, that's a mia promise 
Nice. A Mia promise. Mm, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia, Mia promise. Um, what do you guys think? I think that's a great idea. This is this is a really interesting fear. This I, is a really interesting It one. is an yeah. interesting fear. I do think that there's nothing wrong with having to spit when your eyes are closed. I think that is okay, yeah. Like, like sometimes people yeah. write in fears and they're like... When are you trying to aim with your spit? Really? Huh, well... Well... <laughs> Huh. Well, really, like well, pinpoint when? accuracy. You know, when when is yeah. that needed? I mean, um, spitting archery. into the sink. You know, archer. Archery. Oh, archery. Yeah. Why? Uh, sometimes you're doing archery and you need to uh, get it on the the bull, the bullseye. I forgot my arrow. My mouth will do. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So like you gotta spit oh right on the, the bullseye. That would be crazy if you could spit to like 50 feet away. And it would, like, oh, we're yeah. terrifying this listener. We're like freaking uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. out. Yeah, oh my god, this is so this is the ultimate immersion therapy. This is right oh here, yeah, just listen doing. to us, and we're just gonna go to you a bunch. Ooh. Oh, not the sound effects. Even I don't like the sound effects. I'm yeah. realizing. Yeah, really. Yeah, don't I'm, do it again. <laughs> don't do it again. Kablooey. Um, Kablooey. 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 Yeah. Oh, this is the imagine most onomatopoeia we've imagine ever had. The, imagine this person gets like uh, audio editing software and takes out any spit from every movie and <laughs> just has it like a random <laughs> noise, like boing. Or is there <laughs> yeah. a lot of spit in movies? Um. Mm. Hmm. Is it Finding Nemo? They're just swimming in something, you know. <laughs> There's a, there is a non-zero amount of spit in the ocean. Not a non a non-zero amount. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yes. And There's pee-pee. the Titanic where she spits on the guy before she runs away. The ocean is homeopathic spit. It's just really diluted. <laughs> yeah. God damn it. It took me a second to put that visual together. That's that's for all the kids that had parents that tried to give them homeopathic remedies that did not work as a kid. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Dude. Yo. Yeah. Yo, yo, same yo, here. Yo, yeah, yo, we're, yo, we're yo, all homeopathic yo, yo. Gang, gang. We're homeos. Homeos. We're homeos. I did once have a wart on my foot that like the the dermatologist could not get off despite Did his a greatest... homeopathic remedy work for you? It actually did. And I oh wasn't it wasn't placebo because it was like my wacky aunt Barbara who gave it to me and I was like Okay, Barbara, thanks so much. Like, I'm sure this powder is going to work. And then I took it like once a day and it actually worked. It got wow. rid of my wart. Wow. Has homeopathy ever worked for you? Um, in a sense, like it, I didn't, I didn't necessarily take uh, pills and stuff, but when I was diagnosed with Crohn's, they gave me really bad meds, like, like pharmaceuticals that made yeah. it worse. Mm. And so my mom was like, we got to do this with diet. So she took me to a, a homeo doctor and she was like, yeah, just eat melon. And so <laughs> did been, melon work? Uh, yeah, pretty much like melon and, and just like, uh, s- certain food, you know, fruits and vegetables, not really grains and stuff. And, okay. uh, I, I went into remission. Yeah. Wow. So there, Wait, what are, what are the most it. like triggering foods for your Crohn's uh it's it's uh, sugar uh, processed sugar and okay. processed foods in general and uh, uh yeah wheat or gluten or gotcha. anything like that I'm one of those can you have gluten-free. rice or right now I'm a little more lax so I've been having okay. rice I've been in- reintroducing some like you know potatoes used to be a no-no and now but pota- and now <laughs> microwave potatoes all the time well if you microwave a potato it's 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 a healthy potato mm. yeah that's what they don't teach you anywhere yeah, not oh, in yeah. school, not in the workforce. Not, not in on internet school or internet work force, which are different. <laughs> not in the internet workforce. <laughs> not online. Not Which is different than the internet workforce yep. <laughs> where I live. We do okay. our last one. Oh, yes. All right. This is a very short one. All right. Would you rather have a stuffy nose for the rest of your life or constant tooth pain? I basically nose. already have a stuffy nose. I would go stuffy nose so stuffy easily. Stuffy nose. Yeah. Yeah. It, there's a difference between being uncomfortable and in pain. That's, yes. Yeah. 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 That's a hardcore. I, I used to have very consistent uh, tooth pain because of wisdom teeth. They were coming in at like a You were too wise. Forward. Yeah. What? Sorry? Yeah, you were too wise. I was too yeah. wise. You were so smart that it And now I'm you. dumb and happy. And uh, That is the best way to be. Do you believe it's important to be dumb? Um, I think you need to be... You have to be stupid and dumb on purpose. Yeah, or else men yeah. won't li- like you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to twirl twirl your hair with yeah. all of your fingers at the same time. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 
So it's just scratching your head, pretty much. That's just being on ecstasy, like oh yeah. <laughs> yeah you yeah, just yeah. scratch until there's dandruff because they love the snow. That's uh, the most important meal of men the Men love snow and they have sex with snow. That's true. All men have sex with snow. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I it's do. Called the having sex with snow effect. That's yeah. how. That's that's how you know it's the first day of winter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the first day you've. Is the first snow day you've snow is actually not actually white. It's become <laughs> <Yeah>. white <laughs> because of all. So the... many men have sex with it. Oh yeah, because of all the hot loads. Oh. Yeah, that's why snow. That's why it melted. tastes so good as well. Oh. Yeah, don't. They say don't eat the yellow snow, but just actually don't eat any of the snow, please. <laughs> don't eat any snow. <laughs> don't eat it's snow. It's various kinds of gum. Yep. <laughs> yeah, all different races. <laughs> We Isn't ex- it weird that every race has white cum? Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, I'm sorry to say it's I'm not suggesting that different races should have different colors of cum. It's just weird <laughs> that it's always white. That's all I'm saying. I'm not suggesting any eugenics happen. Oh my gosh. <gasps> should we start <laughs> dying people's cum? Come die. <laughs> Come I dyed die. my cum blue this morning. <laughs> it looks great. We should we should dye the cum whatever flag. From Imagine the like having <laughs> the Ukrainian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I support. <laughs> oh my World god! Peace and it's just <laughs> yellow and blue. Some people put out a flag in front of their building. Like no, I dye my cum yellow and blue. <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh my. It's god. more. It's it's for you. It's for yeah, you yeah, to yeah. know that you're a good person. Yeah. 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 To come in the shape of like. It's BLM. like wearing a prayer shawl. It's to test your own conviction. <laughs> the kente cloth. Remember Chuck Schumer wore the kente cloth. Oh my oh god! No. And and Nancy, Nancy Pelosi. Yeah. Oh, let's not forget that that girl. What While are they were they kneeling. doing. <laughs> that girly. Yeah. They looked really hot, but yeah, I will say, they looked really really hot. Yeah. And, I'll, I'll be honest i think nancy pelosi is not unattractive and that's me being real she's got boobies she's got big old honkers she's got yeah, yeah. are you guys boob boob guys or i am i'm a real i'm an ass boob. guy you're an ass guy mm-hmm. i'm 100 percent are you a boobs guy, guy? i'm ass a boobs guy, guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah if i was to be a uh, a guy a guy yeah yes and i am yeah yeah i just decided are you like in terms of uh are you a a chest guy with with men or a uh a balls guy what what do you go hmm. for in a man like what do i juggle yeah, yeah what do you, uh, juggle? you exclusively <laughs> like one that uh squats on the toilet yeah <laughs> squatting i'm naked. a squat guy uh, <laughs> Squat guy. wait wait are you asking are you is this a real question yeah you know actually yeah. i want i want to what's real your answer. favorite part what of is man? what is there yeah oh um it, that's interesting i on, on my boyfriend specifically i like his legs he does have good legs. He He's has got, very well in general. He long, is a very handsome dude. He is. Well, thank you. Yes, I'm taking that as a compliment for you me. You did make him in yeah. your image, so yes. I did. Yes, <laughs> uh, I, I. People said don't don't make uh d- don't draw God. So I was like, I'll I'll build him, baby. Hell yeah. 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 Adam's God. He's got great legs. Okay. He's got. He's very tall. He is very tall. And it, it's mostly in his legs, mm. and they're like stumps. They're like they're like defined stumps have you always Mm. been into tall guys it's funny because i i famously don't give a shit about height and i think it's really uh bad that women are like no one under six foot or whatever like that shit my first boyfriend was five seven and it was proportionate because i'm five three so it was like yeah i can kiss you and i don't have to like hop yeah <laughs> is that what you have to do now <laughs> yeah i have or to do you need to go uppies <laughs> <laughs> i do st- we do do uppies i say oh! uppie and he picks me up and he cracks my back oh that's nice yeah so you don't shoot There's- out of a cannon i <laughs> <laughs> i i'm slingshotted <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i take an elevator like david and goliath mm. um yeah i like to think of myself as the david Oh, <laughs> yeah. are you the David? Who's the David the and who's the Goliath here? <laughs> On our pod, who do you think's the David and who's the Goliath? I'm a tower. Oh, I'm such a David here. I'm big, big, strong Goliath. Yeah, yeah. you die. Can I ask, like, g- giving as much detail as you feel comfortable, but yeah. like, how did you guys like start dating? Like, who made the first move? You know? Yeah. Um. So when I first met Adam, it 
I was, uh, it, he came into my open mic. Oh, he came into my oh, open yeah. mic. <laughs> Did he die? It, it was snowing. It was, <laughs> it was snow. It was a pink <laughs> open mic. Um, <laughs> weird color. Weird, weird color. See a doctor about that, dude. <laughs> if your open mic is <laughs> pink <laughs> for more than four hours. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, but. He uh he came into my open mic in 2019 in March. Yeah. Uh, it was my birthday week. Aww. And uh the the night I met him, he was friends with my my best friend Charlie Dawson, mm-hmm. friend of the pod. Not oh, yet, but we not yet. Not we're going to get him on. We're okay. going to get him on. Future sure. friend of the pod, Future Charlie. Friend. Dawson. I I really like Charlie. Charlie's I really the really best. do. Yeah. I love Charlie. I love Charlie. And uh he was Sorry, friends. Charlie. Sorry, Charlie. Oh, is that a that's a line from a movie. I don't know which movie though. I forget. Oh, maybe it's um, Willy Wonka. Cast Mission Away. Impossible. Schindler's Remember Schindler's Castaway, where he named the Wilson. The no, his Wilson. name was Sorry Charlie. Oh yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Sorry Charlie, I'm about to fuck you. <laughs> <in the> <laughs> <face>. <laughs> That's where Tom Hanks did that with that ball. It's so yeah. weird. Yeah. I don't think it's that weird, admirable. actually. That's the only thing that I found convincing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice dynamic between the two of them. Yes. Yeah. But back to your love story. Right. So he came into my mic. I he was friends. Charlie brought him. Mm-hmm. I spent the the rest of the night with him and Charlie, and I was like, "Oh, this guy's fun." And when we were having such a fun time, riffing, laughing, when Adam walked away, I asked Charlie, "Does this guy?" I recently broken. I recently broke up with someone, and okay. so I was looking for a distraction and or boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, "Charlie, is he got he got a girlfriend?" Charlie said, "Yeah, he got a girlfriend. Aww. He just got one." Uh, so I had to wait 10 months and then uh, Adam broke up with his girlfriend and then I was like, I'm swooping in hard. This is happening. So we went to karaoke. I Oh, so you asked him out? It was it was very mutual. We went to we did karaoke together with okay. some other friends and then yeah, he yeah. walked me home. <gasps> And it was sort of a mutual lean in for oh, a first. So freaking cute! That's and, so yeah. sweet. It was so it was very good because usually my other um, relationships I've had, I had to ask them yeah. out. Oh yeah, okay. And which is a fun is fun and exhilarating, but I I wanted like someone to approach yeah. me or at least for it to be mutual, and it was, and that was January of 2020. Wow. And then something happened. Yeah, that's. Kobe happened. Kobe, <laughs> Kobe, oh. Kobe, and then so because Kobe died, we moved in with each other to Florida <laughs> with my parents. Seize the day. <laughs> yeah. Um, Wait, the, do you guys live together? We're we're moving in with each other now. Whoa. But we we both went to Florida. Like we dated for oh, yeah. a month and a half. Oh my he, god! He took my virginity, and then we <laughs> god moved damn. in with each other. Um, where did he Where did he take it? Uh, all over, <laughs> <laughs> all over. Uh, he. You where? can still find pieces of it today, like it's a war crux. <laughs> oh the twenty pieces. Of the last in one is in Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My, my you can only find it if you take his virginity. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way Harry Potter fucked, right? He adopted those kids. Oh yeah, no, hundred percent. He didn't have a penis. Who did he end up with? Cho Chang? No, it was. uh, He ended up with Ginny. Ginny. Yeah, Cho Chang just died. When? No, she. I don't know if she actually died, but uh. But she was. But she didn't end up with anyone. Cho Chang, what a name! I know. (laughs) What a name name for the only Asian character. (laughs) Oh yeah. Unforgettable. It's Cho Chang. (laughs) It's ridiculous. What would you have named her instead? Oh, uh, something more racist. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> if you're going to go racist, go all the way. Oh, my God. Um, I wouldn't do that. I would name her Dignified Woman. <laughs> 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 I'd name her America English. <laughs> I'd name her We Are a Melting Pot. <laughs> <laughs> I named her Asian Lives Matter. Uh, oh, my God. <laughs> Stop Asian Oh, my God. Stop, Stop Asian hate. Hate. Yes. <laughs> Uh, Wait, Lucas, before we get to our final part yes. of the pod, can I do the thing I never do and pee? Whoa. If you Is have this personal? To. Yeah. I'm Did sorry. I do something? Yeah, 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 I'm sorry. You put fluids in her body I and you know you. it. <laughs> yeah, remember when you put the juice in me? Yeah. Uh, put I injected juice it. In juice. <laughs> yeah, so I have to pee out. I'll let you All guys right, know go if pee, I, go I, pee, I go pee. We're going to talk about not you. Oh, yeah. 
What's wrong with her? I fucking hate her, T. She smells good, but weird, but good. It's like lavender, but also steak. Like, those are good <laughs> scents, but they don't go together. Uh. Um, That's a weird perfume, bro. Lucas, yes. um, let's talk about you came to my birthday. I did go to your birthday. D- did you like my birthday? I did like your birthday. How old did I turn? Uh, 24. Four? Yes. 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 And um, how old are you now? I'm 26. And does how does that make you feel? Bloated. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I feel I feel okay. I I'm turning 27 next month. Ooh. Oh yeah. May. May 26. That's my birthday. Okay. May 20. Is it? Uh, can I guess your birthday? You would know if you went on famousbirthdays.com. Is that true? I'm on famous birthday. Are, is your maybe. birthday that famous? Oh yeah. But are you famous, or is just your birthday? Famous? Just my birthday. <laughs> okay. I'm known for my birthday. Can I get your birthday's autograph? People recognize me from my birthday. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Aren't you the guy with that birthday? <laughs> uh, no, sorry. Uh, what were you gonna say? I was just gonna ask for your birthday's autograph. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> sorry, my my uh, my birthday is no longer running. It was on the air for a while, but it's been off season for yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. You're you're very private about your birthday. I am very I don't I don't like to talk about it. There are a lot of painful memories. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of trauma. The, oh, this birthday gift uh, has spikes it once, on it. It once snowed on my birthday when I was like three, I think. Or something it was like when I was very uh-huh. little, it snowed on my birthday. And that and that got to you, buddy. I know, because that was the first time I fucked as well. <laughs> I fucked the snow, baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah I totally yeah, yeah. forgot about oh, yeah. our our. Com- did our you enjoy coma. your birthday? I did. I got very drunk, uh, and I never drink. I rarely oh, yeah. drink. So, uh, and I I kept doing uh, alcohol, and everyone said smoke this alcohol. I was like, mm-hmm. I'll smoke this alcohol. Oh yeah. And um and then I went to bed around 10 a.m. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah, You buddy. were up until 10 a.m.? Um, we closed the bar out, and then this comic, who uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, was like, hey, let's all go to my place. Okay. And then we just talked about comedy f- oh, in- that's nice. until the early a.m. Yeah. Wow. And um, my life is good. That's good, though. That's a, that's a, that's a good experience to have. Yes. I uh, will say I don't think I could do up until 10 a.m. Because when you hit 25, oh you're like, boy. I need to sleep, dude. This is this yeah. is important. No, you're senile. I'm very I'm I'm just an old I'm an old man. You don't know where you are right now. Who are you? Oh, this is actually very painful. <laughs> is the early bird special on yet? <laughs> <laughs> Lucas got old. I got very old. My girlfriend got locked out of our apartment. Oh so like, no. Over here. <laughs> oh my god. That's so okay. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, okay. Wait, so Gabby's gay? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, um You I, can walk out if this is this against is, your beliefs. That, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to be recorded. That that I Come am, on, so. Gayliger. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh my god. All right. Okay, well, legit didn't we're know. Coming that. towards <laughs> the, the end of the podcast. And we have a, a segment right at the end called Self Perception Corner where we ask our guests okay. to describe how they believe they are perceived by other people. And do I have to go into the corner? Y- yes. Yes. I do? Yes. Away, far away from the <laughs> mic. We don't want that. We don't want the people to hear. But yeah, describe how you believe you were perceived oh. by other people, and then we say how we actually see you. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Okay. I'll do. Um, hmm. I'll also say how I'm scared that people perceive oh, me. Oh, that's that's see, that's, a that's great perfect. One. So. I think that I think generally I am liked. I th- I think based on um pe- people the the conversations I have with people and and they smile at me. And that's the proof I have. Mm-hmm. And I have wonderful friends who I respect and it seems like they respect me and so I'm like, okay, I think I am liked by uh, pe- you know, not everyone yeah, surely. Yeah. Um but uh I oh here here's what I know I am perceived uh by people and this is can be perceived as a negative. Uh people say that I do too many bits or um and it 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 makes me sad because you know, I absolutely love doing bits and I love riffing and just you know trying to be funny at the very least. 
but uh i i feel like i am a genuine person if like if it comes to that but if we're just on the street and we're not gonna get into like mommy issues then we're gonna fucking riff you know we're gonna um but so i think people don't take me as a genuine person and it makes me sad sometimes Mm. but i also think those people um are ugly (laughs) ugly and like and and it's their fault that they're ugly mm. and they need to change. Right. No, so if I don't you don't like want to be ugly, ugly simply right. don't be. Yeah. Just get get over it. Exactly. Just get over it. Um but yeah, I think I think I'm liked. I think people uh think I uh I do too too many bits, but I don't I'm in com like we're at a comedy club. What what do you want me to be doing? Are we going to have a real conversation right now? Yes. No. <laughs> I don't like I the eye contact. hate small talk. Uh, true. Right, right, right. That's the thing is like people would do small talk instead of bits. And I I'm, I don't want to do that. Yeah. So I'm yeah. going to do bits instead. I, I don't do small talk. I do tiny talk. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> do you want episode? <laughs> <laughs> Kawaii. <laughs> I have a snack in my pocket. <laughs> I um, do always have snacks in my pocket. You gotta have snacks. You're the mom friend. Yes. Um, and what I'm worried that people perceive me as as is it as is is annoying. That's that's a fear of mine. I don't want to be annoying. That's it. Yeah. Okay. Did you good? <laughs> no, you did, you did a, great. You, you did, did a great. Really good job. Okay. Uh, do you want to go first? I'll go or? first. Okay. Mia, 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 Mia. I gotta say, Mama Mia, Mama Mia. I was intimidated coming here today because mm-hmm. I think you're a really funny comedian. Thank you. So even though you are notoriously a horrible person <laughs> <laughs> with the, the, with a reputation for murder. I'm and an crimes. orphan arsonist, which means I I set them on fire. You put orphans on fire, which yeah. uh, which is great for you. That's what they deserve. Yeah, it's a simply passion. choose to have parents. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> choose not to be ugly. Choose to have parents. Yeah. That's what I say. Um, I think, you know, I do see the genuineness in you. Because it's kind of like I said. I feel like even the bits you say come from a very, like, profound place of, like, real world observation. Mm. Thank you. And I do. I I love that in people because I feel like so much about the world has already been observed. So it's nice to hear it in, like, a way that's new and different. Um, And I really like hanging out with you. I find you very easy to talk to. And I hope you tell your mom about me. I will. Yes. I mentioned you as um, co-host on the way here, but yeah. on the way back, you're. There's that's, a listener that did right. that. There's a listener There's that a... wrote in, "Hello, Lucas and co-host." Oh my god! Which made me laugh. <laughs> so then the other listeners started writing in, like, "Hello, Gabby and co-host." Yeah, so which, was, I'm oh, not gonna lie. Back. That first one made me furious. That uh, that legit. Oh, made that's me angry. Come on. No, that really made me angry. It's... It really did. <laughs> <laughs> Gabby and TikTok celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> More like it. I only said co host because my mom has of, met no, Lucas. Has met yeah, Lucas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um but what if your mom was that listener who wrote it? <laughs> <Yeah>. Debbie. <laughs> oh my god. Pretending to be a sixteen year old. Hi, boy. my friend Lucas and this bitch. Like <laughs> Yeah. Fair. Um yeah, my mom. Um let's not talk about my mom anymore. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. It's no, too, yeah, but, we've gone too far. But for but for me and the way I perceive you is that when I first met you, I was like, I do not know how to gauge this person. I did not know how close I was. Actually, I was like, is this how she is with everyone? I was like, I'm enjoying this. But I was I couldn't tell if I was being kept at a distance or being included in the fun. Oh, that was that was the thing. But then the more I got to know you, I was like, oh, no, she's a sweetheart. This is. <laughs> Thank this you. is great. Oh, yeah, I was like, oh yeah, this is great. And obviously, like you can be genuine and actually speak about real stuff. Yeah, it it happens. And then I felt then I felt included because I got to hear that side of you. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I feel that's like, the thing. I, I feel yeah, the opposite ahead. though. I felt included because you did bits. Not everyone will do bits right away. Yeah. It's it's uh it's all bits are a defense mechanism as well. Mm. You know, it's like I'm and I'm, I'm attacking. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm a bear baby this is attacking with his earnestness yes um i'm i'm nervous all the time i've got social anxiety all the th- all the things so if if you know it it's it's just uh my default to be like okay i don't know i don't know how to talk to people but i i can be stupid i can be a stupid idiot and uh it works most of the time so mm. yeah thank you guys so much yeah 
Um, now you're someone we've wanted on for a while. Yeah, we have. Oh, it's true. Thank it's very you. meaningful. Yes. I also think like it's cool that you and Adam are together because I feel like you guys are similar in a certain way. Where like I remember well, I was on this uh, the show at I think it was Comedy Shop and he was on it too and mm-hmm. he was like. It was like all all guys and me on the lineup, which I'm sure you've experienced a lot. And oh, he yeah. was like, you know, there were other comics there who I liked and I appreciated talking to, but they didn't make like as much as an, of an effort to like talk to me and be friendly to me as mm. he did. Yeah. And I feel like that's true of both of you where like you're both just so like friendly with everyone. You're both very attentive. Yeah. You're both very attentive. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Adam is so uh, he puts in an effort to like look you in the eye. And make sure that you're yeah. a person down in the world. there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you it, both love comedy. We, oh, yeah. Which, like, you'd be surprised how many comics, like, I feel like just hate comedy. Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, yeah. I mean, I can understand getting bitter about it because I get bitter about comedy, but it ultimately it's our passion. We're doing this because yeah. we, we, we love it so much. So yeah. You gotta have a. You gotta try to have a good attitude about Absolutely. it. Absolutely, at least, yeah. I think there's stuff to be bitter about, like that that can just pass fleetingly. Like, there's times I like look at a show lineup or whatever. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm better than all those people. And <laughs> yeah. I'll give you. Guys, I'll tell you guys an example of that off camera. But like, <laughs> I feel like most of the time it's like everything that someone else is on is like they probably like just asked or had a tape that you didn't or like had like did a show you didn't or something because they worked for it it's like most of the time people do merit their success and if they don't they're gonna fall real quick so sure yeah like ultimately it's it's hard not to look at other people's thing and compare and all of that whether you think they're better than you or or less better than you but ultimately it's like just a practice of oh i just gotta focus on myself i'm the only competition is with myself. I just have to be yeah. better than I was yesterday and blah, blah, blah. All mm. that all that therapeutic shit. But yeah. um, All that junk. All that gross oh, nonsense that I throw in the trash can. Yes. Um, all that heathen gabagool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that baba Don't say my name in vain. Gabagool. 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 Bitch. Gabagool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mia, do you have anything? So this will be coming out next week on uh, Monday. Do you have anything you want to plug and promote? Yes, I have a podcast. <gasps> um, what? Name what? her. What's her name? Her name is WTF Samantha. with Mark Samantha. Maron. Samantha? Samantha podcast. Samantha. Yay. It's such a Samantha. Yeah. Uh, it's called The Idiot's Catalog. Each week, me and my th- three friends, Leland Long, Charlie Dawson, guest, get to uh talk about dumb inventions that are useless and stupid and oh and, i love um, that it's very it was stupid. i was on it was a lot of what fun. invention did you talk about uh, it was it was something that you that came up with on the spot like you were reading cards and you have to combine stuff to and create a reason why this object would be a good thing we actually we took out that oh okay part <laughs> because it, it it was fun but it was long and now we just like come up with more of our own dumb inventions. Yeah. Oh, no. I remember the invention I came up with, which was a Keurig, but for garlic bread. Yes. So you know how, like, you have a Keurig, you have, like, the little coffee pods, and they're, like, different flavors and stuff? I'm, like, so- having a conniption. <laughs> <laughs> Why isn't this invented yet? Yeah. Well, it was, like, okay, so imagine you have, like, you have a machine, and then you have, like, a special kind of bread that fits into a certain slot, and then you have these canisters with different flavors of, like, garlic butter or whatever else you want to put on the garlic bread, and then it would bake it onto it. So you can, And then you can go to the store and buy all these different kinds of things. Oh. And then just whenever you want, you just be like, pop in a canister, pop in your bread, and then doot, 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 doot. And then, and then you have a freshly baked like treat. is like how they have different flavors for butter at the movies? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. But in garlic bread form, and in a Keurig, in a in yeah. a Keurig. And you then the- remember, I asked, "What the heck is a, a Keurig?" And then everyone said, "You're fucking stupid," <laughs> and I cried. Yeah. They threw you out oh, the yeah. window, like the trunch yeah. bowl. Come yes. back around, full circle. Um. Uh. Oh yeah. Follow me at Mia Faith Hammond if you if you must. And also, can I say can I say nice things about you? How I think about you? Oh, sure, no. yes, I would love that. I but you don't have to mention. Hmm. Them. Okay, who who wants who wants to go? I'm first? just co-host right now. I'm I'm just your you co-host. Can, you can do co-host first. Okay, co-host. Thank you. I've known you for we're coming up on probably ten months. Yeah, just about yeah. Probably ten months. 
No. Oh my god, is that that's That's my girlfriend. Yep. <laughs> Do you want to get her? I'll yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll say nice things about Lucas. Yeah. Lucas, you spell your name with a K. What is that? I'm just I'm different. I'm just built different. <laughs> <laughs> um you're always you're 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 always been oh no <laughs> I already messed up I already messed up you're always been uh, I always been good good <laughs> and <laughs> smile and important <laughs> <laughs> um but truly you've always been such a kind essence every time I'm, oh, I'm around wow. you and your TikToks are very entertaining and and my mom likes them as well oh thank and, you and um. Uh, you're and dude, your voice when you go baritone, do baritone right now. Oh yeah, it's insane. Thank you. And <laughs> everyone likes it. Oh yeah, everyone does. <laughs> everyone does, and you kill and you kill that Caroline's that one time. Oh, even you though so much. you had a panic attack, and that is a feat. It is a feat, not a foot, but a multiple. It's feet. so many feet. Fe- oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> Gabby's having a joke. <laughs> Sylvie's not doing a good job getting in. No. She what? hasn't used a door in many a year. Oh, no. Yeah, no. She's not allowed to use them. Is she it's crazy? Only, it's only Gabby who's allowed to touch the doors. So if she if she, if, if Sylvie touches the door, she explodes. Okay. It's happened once. This, it took a while to put her back together. We need to make a movie of this oh, right yeah. now. That's so good. Well, they're working on a documentary right now. They're trying to get uh, crowdfunding. GoFundMe. Yeah. Um, GoFundMe. Help Sylvie stop exploding. <laughs> <laughs> Help my mom get her lung back and then also <laughs> also fund that yeah. other thing. Um, but and uh, I'll say more, more nice things yeah. to you while while yeah. she's got. Yeah, yeah. F- you're, you're barefoot right now. I am barefoot no right now. No one's ever done that before. No one. I'm a pioneer. You're a pirate near. I'm a pirate near <laughs> you. <laughs> I'm yes. Okay, so my nice things. Been like, for a full five minutes without me. It. <laughs> okay i act like this isn't my fault okay yeah, say yeah. something say something nice it's okay. not your fault yeah i guess it's not, it's not fault. your fault at all this my is my woman's your, fault it's your woman I'll be your here, wench okay. your woman i truly get okay i'll start with this gabby truly didn't know you're gay until <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is, uh, i did not know you're gay until like 10 minutes ago <laughs> What is your opinion of her now? So I'm straight passing. <laughs> you're you're very straight passing. I love that for me. That's great. Um, I, it, I shouldn't want to be straight passing, but there is a part of me that's like, no. ooh la la. It's good you for know? your resume. It yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. I, Makes I'll you more castable. Yep. Yep. Um, didn't know you were gay. That's pretty cool uh, that you are. And what else? I We've only known each other for a few months, right? Yes, I believe so. Um, but I, I go to your um, mic sometimes. And I always enjoy your presence uh, when you host. I've truly only seen you host the mic, but it's always you, you have such a uh, wonderful energy, which is so important for a mic or a show. Like I, I suck at hosting it. You, you have to set the tone for the rest of what's going to happen. And it's such a important skill, and and you do it so well. And oh, so thank you. You're a, a, a you're a great producer of energy. That is very true. And I that do is love what, that is what that. you need to be a good host, and you have it in spades. It's there, and and you look like you're having fun up there, and that's what's also important about comedy is having fun. And so it's always it's always lovely to see you out there, yeah. and uh, and you're gay. Yeah, true. <laughs> you're so and you're gay. Uh, except and for there's a there's a couple of men. Zayn Malik from One Direction. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, the boy from Parasite. I guess not the little boy, but the teenager. Okay. I don't The main guy. That are gay or that don't no, seem sorry, to that be? No, sorry. They're, that are they're not gay that are my type in men. Oh. Andrew, so okay. thin and form. dark hair. Thin and dark hair. Yeah. Mm. Oh, and uh, Lucas Hedges, the redheaded kid. In in what? He's not in Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> He's in other movies. Lucas what? <laughs> Wait, I'm Lucas just imagining, Hedges? what if a Korean couple just decided to name their kid Lucas Hedges? Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas Hedges is actually born to two Korean yeah. parents. <laughs> and it is like a very much like a Korean looking person, but just being like, I feel like this is a Lucas Hedges right here. Just like looking at that baby. This is this is so Lucas Hedges. This so, is That's so Lucas. That's the name that suits this baby. Yeah. Yeah. Lucas Hedges, you look him up. You'll see. Yeah. Okay. He's very handsome. Oh, well, after. Yes. Well, after. Yeah. But um, thank you. I appreciate that. I love hosting stuff. And uh, good, good. Yeah, I'm excited to. We're gonna get you on an Anne Hathaway show. Yes. And, uh, 
hopefully you'll finally see my material and be thoroughly disappointed. No, I will go ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and the rest will be tepid ha, giggles ha, and ha, you'll ha, just be ha, grunting ha, yeah. in the back. I'll go, <laughs> what if you just go laugh? <laughs> yeah, that's funny. There are comics Guffaw. who sometimes you hear at open mics, they go, ha, you know it's a pity laugh. I'll oh, give it a- sucks. Unless oh. it's Michael Aber who goes, ha. Oh, I love him, though. <laughs> yeah, he does that. Um, all right. Well, thank you right. for saying nice thank things about so us. Thank you so much. Yeah. As disingenuous the as they were. No. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas, do you have anything to plug? Other than um, your big, I have juicy a couple butthole? Sh- I have a couple shows. I'm going to be the token straight on Maddie Gross's Are They You Know show. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be on that, and uh, oh. I'm also gonna be on. Um, uh, Aaliyah Janine has a show on April 27th. I'm gonna be on that show, and then uh, April 22nd, a week from uh, well, less than a week from now. Um, yeah, so when you hear this, this coming Friday, come to Asylum NYC. Uh, you can find the ticket link at the on my website. Uh, LucasTArnold.com. You'll get all my ticket links and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's my sketch group. We have a show Friday, April twenty second, and then I got other stand up dates that I just mentioned. So yeah, that's it for me. Right. I am roasting Maddie Gross of the Are They You Know show. I'm also on the Are They You Know show. Oh yeah. The roast is I can't remember. It, it'll be on my Instagram. Yes. Also, uh, my very good friend Aaron and I, who host Anne Hathaway Presents, are Anne hosting presents. a crossover show with Jerry Seinfeld Presents and Jerry Casey Seinfeld. Anthony Presents. Casey Anthony. I saw the poster. I was like, what am I reading right <laughs> yeah. now? Oh, it's so absurd. Imagine explaining that to someone 200 years ago. Yeah. Another yeah. comic actually messaged me and was like, so you just booked everyone who already produces the shows on your show and i was like pretty much well here's the thing about a show is you can do anything you want yeah (laughs) i don't care about your unwritten rules so (laughs) so come to see that that's gonna be april 29th at star bar it's gonna be a lot of fun hell yeah and then we got more dates coming up also small this is just a tiny plug but i went to see dylan adler last night he Uh, did his headlining show he killed it he crushed it Follow Dylan Adler on social media. I think he's like Dylan Adler underscore on Instagram and then Dylan Adler six on Twitter. Follow him. He's we got to get him on here. He's we got to get him yeah. on. He's, he's too great. Good. Um, but yeah, that's it from us. Get a round of applause for our a guest. A round of applause for Mia. Yay! Thank you so much for you watching. Any final words of encouragement? Oh, yes. for yeah. Any listeners? final words? I do. Um, I'm going to take my shirt off. I'm going to take my shirt off. And no one can say I'm not because I'm all, I'm doing it to the camera. Oh, and then we cut. Cut, yeah. <laughs> Yay!